Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, we've all peaked here. I tell you, it's been an all go all morning today. I'm sure there was something really important I had to tell you. Should we do the early bird? Where? Oh, look, there's a moth in the studio. That's good, isn't it? Luckily, we don't keep the fabrics in here. Right, look at this. This is the Crafter's Dream hand free LED magnifier. Should be 9 99 should be 9.99 let me take that out of the packet oh here it is as the packet so now what this is it's a magnifier obviously magnifier but it also has a light on it an led light on it there also has a stand he says there we go so you can stand it up if you also oh, stand it up if you want to oh look at the look at the magnification my butterflies oh oh you can put it round your neck. Now, Ben was trying this earlier, and he doesn't fit Ben. Oh, it could have been Ben, because you hadn't... Well, hang on, there you go. Like, is it like that? No, hang on, I've angled that wrong, haven't I? I've put it on back to front. There we go. It wouldn't sit straight on Ben's tummy, because he hasn't got a tummy, you see, look. Rock hard abs is all he's got, but look. I'll switch it on like that. They're painted on. When they do Rocky Horror Show in the West End, that the person who plays Rocky has painted apps on normally. Anyway, how much is it going to? £7.99 pence. Early bird. Make sure you check out your basket. That's your PP paid for for the day. £7.99 pence. Well, that's an interesting picture, Bruce. Uh, Catherine's been up since half past five. I've definitely peaked. Catherine, you try getting up when we get up, my love. Oh, but Catherine, you're not normally up till about half eleven, are you? Crazy Rain says good morning. Margaret says good morning. Loving your shirt. What's this theme this week? You'll have to wait and see. Claire says morning, John and all. Angela says good morning. Now, Angela, are you not supposed to be out at the school on holiday? Should you not be doing the, the lollipop ladying? Anyway. Where do you live? Yeah, because apparently where Debbie, uh, Debbie Harris, they're already on uh, break already. They're already on the summer holidays. Scotland, they're definitely on the summer holidays, aren't they? Seven ninety nine, hands free LED magnifies your early bird for today. Good morning, Pauline. Oh, here we 
we go. Oh, hang on. Something's um. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, what, what? I don't know if it's um, what it is, but I'm managing to turn my volume up and down without touching it. <laughs> Must be my um. What are these things? Love handles. Uh, Seven ninety nine. Beautiful. Keep going through. Jan says morning, gorgeous. Susie Dunn. Oh, Susie. Susie, how are you out of hospital? You know, Susie Duncan was in hospital. Yeah, she had an accident on play day with a child, with a grandchild. Yeah. Well, I presume she's all right. She just can type. Um, who else is in? Uh, oh, that's it, I've done all. Right. Keep going through, keep going through. Very busy. This one's going to be one of those days. Very, very busy day. 7 99 I'm going to leave it there. I'm not busy having fun. Oh, look at Roy. Oh, Roy's just waved. He's not allowed upstairs. What's he doing up there? He's not allowed in the management suite in his workman's outfit. Anyway, shall we have a look at today's menu? Here it is at one o'clock. One o'clock now. <laughs> I'm wishing my life away. One o'clock, we're going home. At eight <laughs> eight o'clock, we're doing the rainbow hour. Uh, then nine o'clock, we got Debbie Harris. Oh, now I can't, I, Bruce, I can't read it on my auto cue because it's all fuzzy. I'll have to have it on here. Caravan pin cushion. Now, they put caravan pin cushion. There's a caravan. There's an elephant. There's a sewing machine. There's a watering can. There's a... I'm sure there was something else, wasn't there? Anyway, there's all of those. All of those. Oh, there's the caravan and the elephant. Beautiful. Then we've got dressmaking with Nicola Pottage up. Now we've got kiddies dressmaking and we've got adults dressmaking. We've got t-shirts and dresses and tops. Then at 11 o'clock we've got a sewing organiser with Debbie Harris. Have you got a picture of that one? Now, last time she did that blue one, is that the blue one she did there? Yep, the blue one sold out completely in minutes. So we've got the blue one. We've got the cranberry. No, it's not cranberry. What's Red currant, red currant. But we've also got brand new colours of grey and green. Grey and green as well. And then uh, Nicola's back at 12 o'clock with Applique Project. Oh, they're lovely. They're so lovely. Uh, fabulous, fabulous. And you can either buy just the um, Applique kit or you can buy the project that goes with it. So that's that. Uh, there are three ways to get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is Facebook Live. Uh, which I'm uh, sending love to Susie Duncan. Get well soon, says Sue. Uh, Susie said, just sneeze, not wanting that to ever happen again. Oh, you've not, Susie. Did you sneeze and wet yourself? Oh, Susie. Happens to us all, doesn't it? Uh, morning, John and team in Manchester. My grandson, uh, grandson finishes school on Friday. Sharon says, morning all. I've just found out I'm allergic to my dog. Hubby says, should I ask if I have a room? If I have a room you can rent? No. Morning, says Georgina. Uh, back from sunny Albia. Oh, isn't it lovely? Morning, John. Love your butterfly shirt, says Helen. Oh, yes, yeah, Susie's home recovering. I I'm reading going up the opposite way, obviously. Wendy says, looking forward to today's show. Thank you. Oh, and Kat says, morning, John. Lovely to see you. It's going to be a fabulous morning. It is. Every morning's fabulous. I tell you what's not fabulous, though. Nothing can we do about the moment. The w when I look at you here... I see what you're seeing, right? But I don't, it's not what you're seeing because it's all pixelated and like that and everything. So if I can't read something later, then um, I'll let you know. Third way is by, uh, uh, what was it? Website, website, website. Website, www.sangstreet.com. What you do is you click on there and you either scroll through the big pictures or you can uh, just click at the top right-hand corner. And, oh, so who's been here on this very low stool? Um, uh, and then you go through here, you see the white box on the right hand side, you can write your message in there and they're the ones that come on the bottom later. Now if you scroll down, in a minute there will be two columns. The first column is uh, everything you've seen so far and then this column here is pre-order. Everything that's coming up, so that's all your rainbow hour there. Paint the whole world with a rainbow. She did not, says Susie. Pain ripped through my back, she says. Belinda says good morning. Uh, so there's still the first hour, still rainbow, still rainbow. X right back and look at that lovely what's that alchemy I've never seen that before alchemy intrigue I've not seen that before very limited that's by the half meter it's beautiful isn't it I love that textile pens oh do you see Stuart's um, Facebook page last thing last night with him with his pencils oh oh 
I th when he said I've treated myself to he thought yeah you've nicked them from the studio but then the one he had we haven't got that big box have we with the bottom with the bottom layer anyway uh, he's still on rainbow right right now we'll do oh, oh I'm supposed to do that over there I'll do it now I'll do it then sorry sorry I didn't even notice sorry I'll do that now uh, then we've got all of Debbie's stuff there Debbie Harris Pin cushions galore. Oh, there are lots of them, aren't there? Mm -hmm. Then we've got waves and wild rope. Uh, right, okay, so it's t-shirts and dresses for kiddies to start with. You can either buy the t-shirt one or the dress one. I'll go through all of that with you in a minute. Gorgeous, that's all of her stuff. Then there we go, there's Debbie's. Now there's the, there's the red current one and the Sage. Sage is brand new. Uh, instructions on their own. And then we've got the blue one sold down. The blue one sold out in no time last time it was on. Selling very well now. Oh, there's Ribbon Lee. Oh, how did they sneak into today? Did you put those in? Oh, I didn't need, they're not on the trolley or anything, are they? Oh, it's because they're dropship, isn't it? Yeah. There's the uh, top, the ladies' top, White Waves and Wild. Uh, it's called a, Geno, a Genoviva. Isn't that a cake? Then there's the, there's the applique kit. Applique, so you can buy it with the whole cushion kit or just the applique kit. Look. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Then we go home because no meetings day and there's nobody here because nobody works on a Tuesday, do they? Oh, Bruce well, hasn't got to go. Bruce, Bruce has got to, Bruce has, has changed. No, he hasn't changed. He's, uh, so he comes in a bit later. Because I came in this morning. Bruce is always here. The light in the gallery is always on when I arrive, no matter what time it is. Not today. Darkness. And I was like, no lights on in here. No lights on in the studio or anything. Anyway, change that because Bruce comes in to us later because he has to stay and go on cardboard afterwards. So if you watch cardboard this afternoon, you'll hear Bruce at the first. Which hour is it? Three till four. That's a long day. Anyway, what I didn't do when I was over there was this. You know, we've got this competition. Now, did you say we've got, we've got a slide for it? Just or not? Okay. So what it is, is a, you know how we do the block competition? Uh, well, this is the same for children, right? Now, there are three categories. All the instructions are on the panel. How much is the panel? This is the bright rainbow one. So what it is, it's a panel of fabric. It's $5.99. Your child can do whatever they want with this, right? They make, here you go, use the fabrics on this panel to make your very own creation. Creation. You have 12 squares of fabric. Use as much or as little as you need. There are three age categories, up to nine, 10 to 13, and 14 to 16. One winner from each category will be chosen, and you get £100 worth of worth of sewing essentials and the runner-ups will receive 50 pounds worth of sewing essentials and the winners will also be invited to come on the show to present their winning make now we don't want you to send your make in right you email a picture of it to junior sewist i hate that word junior sewist at sewingstreet.com oh were they yeah, junior sewist at sewingstreet.com. Closing date is the 8th of September. Well, that's ages away. Yeah, anyway, we've got it in two colourways. So this is your rainbow colourway. Am I in the right place, Bruce? <laughs> Bruce is feeling a bit saucy this morning. I met Mrs. Bruce, did I tell you? I, sh I shouldn't call her Mrs. Bruce because she's a person within her own right. Lovely Ruth. Uh, she's gorgeous. She was lovely. She was so bubbly and everything. And Bruce is so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I only said that for Cat because I knew that Cat would look. <laughs> Stop. He's he's not boring at all. He's not boring at all. But it, she wasn't what I was expecting. I was sort of expecting Bruce with long hair for some reason, but she's not. Yeah. Morning, John. Just home last night after holiday in France. Really missed you. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, looking forward to watching Lovely You and Sewing Street again. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hope you had a lovely holiday. Right, what have they called this panel then? No, we've done rainbow. We're moving on to the next one now. Nature! Nature! 
Why? I don't know. Mary and John say morning. Were the nibbles nice on Friday? Claire, they were rubbish. Claire, they brought uh, sandwiches. There were crisps. There were some little cakes. Samosas. There weren't any samosas when I got there. Oh, Ben nicked the whole packet of samosas. There were... Oh, yeah, they're lovely, those higgity ones, yeah. I like them warmed up, though. Um, and they had uh, sausage rolls and cheese and onion rolls. And then I went up going, oh, no gluten-free there, no gluten-free there. I went, oh, yes, the gluten-free section's over here. And they've done a whole gluten-free section. I know. So I, come, I just ate crisps. Uh, anyway, then we sat there. I think I fell asleep for half the meeting. I did see Hannah at one point going, ahead nodding like that. And then uh, Stuart was right at the front like this. Oh, yes, yes taking note of everything writing notes and everything he had questions and everything yeah um uh and then xena brought the dog uh and handsome Ad no not handsome Adam, the other daddy adam brought his kids and they behaved so well if i was a little child like that i sat i sit in a two and a half hour meeting and then jake his children came running up the stairs and ran all the way across he came chasing after going shh, shh, shh. so i think there was the one or two i don't know how many children he's got anyway four yeah, bent out on the floor and couldn't get up. Um, anyway, that's the two panels there. Let's get on with Rainbow. Right, I have to give those to Kat to look after. Yeah, two plain bundles. We've got bright classic Rainbow, first of all. So half a metre of each, remember, you get the yellow, the orange, the red, the pink, the lilac, the blue, and the green. Oh, lovely. £24.53, pences. Uh, yeah, oh, uh, 2253, 2253. Yeah, Pauline, Christmas is. There's been, seems to be a, a bit of, been a little bit of confusion about Christmas in July. It's definitely in July. It's not been moved, so it's, it's the last week. So I think it's something like the 23rd. Is it 23rd? Well, you, you're doing the decorations. You should know. 24th. Oh, 24th. So 24th, the week of the 24th, that's Christmas in July week. However, I think where the confusion has come from is Emma Bradford is doing her show the following week, just one show, like when she's doing Christmas in Quiltsburg. And I think she said on her Facebook Live, oh, I'm doing Christmas in August. And now everyone's thought it's been moved to August. There will be, uh, there will be shows between August, September, October, November. Of course, there will be Christmas shows, but main Christmas in July is the 24th of July onwards. And Kat had to get the Christmas decorations out to decorate the set with. Yeah, and she put it all over the brand new desk. Now, she didn't scratch it. Michael scratched it. Michael Wolf scratched it, you see. Right, that's your classic rainbow. Beautiful, gorgeous colours there. £22.53. I've also got a pastel rainbow. Pale blue, pale lilac, pale pink, pale whatever. Bright tomato, or is it paprika? Anyway, there you go. That's a different kind of bundle, that one. Sorry. So matching the price. No, Tracy. We know Christmas week in reality is 25th of December. She's trying to be funny. That'll confuse everybody now, Tracy. Yeah, you're, my, you're welcome, Pauline, my love. You're welcome. Laurie, morning, John and team. Love your shirt. Off to Knit and Natter today. Hope you'll have a lovely day. Oh, you too, my love. You too. Is it about Knit and Natter? Pardon? Oh, you too are a good band, not Knit and Natter. Got, oh, confused. Yeah. Keep going through for this. £22.53. pence. Classic rainbow, very, very popular. This is the pastel rainbow. Well, hang on, Richard, red. That'd be that one. Richard, oh no, where's orange? Oh, that's orange. Richard of York gained Battle of Vain. There you go, there's your rainbow. The other Jan's woken up. Blimey, she's up early. Well done. Oh, what, the twinkle chiffon? We don't call it twinkle chiffon, sorry. You call it um, rainbow organza, I think, don't we? Very limited. We have no idea why it's here, but just buy it. £1.79. Rainbow pearl fabric, they've called it organza. 
One pound seventy-nine half a meter. Don't put your iron on it. Oh, you know, isn't it funny? My it's my goddaughter's birthday on uh, one of my goddaughter's birthdays on uh, Friday, and I bought her a mermaid's tail. I also bought this little book. And it was like, it, it sounded really good on Amazon about empowering young girls to be positive and s strong. And, like and I was reading it yesterday going, I'm not quite, yes, I'm not quite sure that. Anyway, I still wrapped it, I still wrapped up. Where's that come from? What's your algorithm? Ben keeps getting emails about being the best man you can be, be a butch alpha male. It's because you're not. Oh, that could be why then. Yeah, well, they commented on one of them, and of course it's been. Uh, hi, John. I'm late. Been watching the barge coming into Portland Harbour. Oh, lovely, Jan. Did I have a lovely weekend? Yes, June, I did. Thank you. A beautiful weekend. Uh, I've got a lot crammed in. And I drove up on Saturday, uh, and I nearly didn't leave because the storm in Stratford-upon-Avon was horrendous. My hanging baskets, I've had to get rid of them. They really wrecked my hanging baskets. And I was convinced the bush between me and next door was going to go into their conservatory. Anyway, it didn't. Uh, but I had a lovely time, went to the zoo, went walking on the beach. I didn't have my face painted. Debbie's not happy. Debbie was having the party for her son. Um, wasn't very happy. Alex, little Alex. Well, he's, they, well they didn't think he was going to live. They said it when they only was born, they said he wasn't going to live and it was his 30th birthday. He had a great time. He hosed down the elephants and it was the elephant's birthday as well. He was 22. The elephant was. We had a lot of time to miss Well, right, so okay, so we're having our lunch in this posh bit in the middle, right? At the stable, was the stables. Watch, I'll get out the next thing and then I'll carry on with my talk. Mixer rainbow, well, oh, more than a rainbow, that one. The one with loads in. This one, you mean? Yeah, 15 fabrics, 15 fabrics. Mixers, they're the splodgy ones. Anyway, so while we were having lunch, I, I suddenly said to somebody, I wonder where Mr. Parsons lives. You know, Mr. Parsons, the, ch the chameleon. So I went on to the website and I emailed the zoo saying, oh, I'm in the zoo right now. Where could I find Mr. Parsons? They said, well, you'll be a bit pushed. He's dead. And I was like, Mr. Parsons can't be dead because we've just announced that he's had babies and everything. And I said, oh. I thought he just had babies or just fathered some babies. And they went, yeah, he died before the babies were born. So I asked the people in the thing, and they were going, no, that's not right, that's not right. Anyway, we went to the Tropical Dreams, where the chameleons live, and there's a big sign saying Parsons. And there he was, just blinking like that. And his, um, his son or his daughter, I don't, know if, I don't know what the gender of the baby was, was in a separate cage, in a, not cage, but glass thing. So I had my picture taken with him, so we don't know now if it was Mr. Parsons or somebody pretended to be Mr. Parsons. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mr. Parsons was a chameleon. So if you watch the life of the zoo, Chester Zoo, which is how I got hooked on it, right? I only got hooked on it because I quite liked the people who were doing all the mucking out and everything like that. I thought they were lovely people. But anyway, the chameleon, they kept saying, Mr. Parsons, the chameleon. We want to have babies with him. But the first, and when, when you put two chameleons together, when they're ready to get, you know, that they change color right they change change color anyway they kept putting the girls in there didn't change color putting the girls there wouldn't change color then they put one in and they started to change color and they came in the next one she was dead on the floor so then there was another one that didn't change color anyway eventually they found one where they did change color and they did the business and they had a baby anyway but i don't think they have a long-term relationship there was no lady one in the cage with him Right, and it's not a cage anyway. Right, 49.85, one, two, 15, 15 fabrics you're getting here, seven and a half meters. Morning, John, says Judith. Morning. Anyway, so I had a lovely time, and then I drove, uh, the weather stayed fine. Then I drove back yesterday afternoon. I was gonna mow, no, I wasn't gonna mow my, oh, no, not yesterday afternoon, Monday, Sunday afternoon, because I had to put the bins out, and there was nobody to feed the cats because the next door neighbors were away. So, uh, so I drove home, and then uh, yesterday, I had one of those days where, I didn't really do, I'd got up, Nor, uh, not Norman, Norman, not, God love him. Um, got, Luther had been very poorly during the night and wrecked the, the living room rug. So I, and, and it had been getting to a stage. So I went to find it, I found this really lovely one in Dunelm. Uh, and it said they had one in the, 
Redditch branch, which is my nearest branch. I drove all the way there, couldn't even find the Redditch branch. I drove home, did my shopping, then went to the Coventry branch. And then was going to go for a coffee, but the ambulance arrived and picked somebody up outside. So I thought, oh, I'm not going in there. Right, Heidi says, morning, John. I need some information. I've lost my sewing mojo. Oh, Heidi, where did you last see it? We've got lo oh, loads of projects today that might be good for you. Right, Stuart's panels are going well on pre-order, so I'll do those next. Sorry, can't I just pass you those while I take these? These are Stuart's panels, aren't they? So I've got PG12 tips, uh, YB23 and VU62. Oh, yeah, do not say that on QS32, sorry. PG12. PG tips. Oh, see, isn't that funny? You thought about film classes and I thought about a cup of tea. God, it's a huge bag. Right, is this actually to make a bag then? Messenger bag. Oh, the instructions are on the panel. 2nd of February is the day we did this. Oh, I remember this. I remember because he did the stripes going in a diagonal across the flap, didn't he, and everything. 1999. Now, you don't need... You, well, you need other things, but you don't need any more fabric because this is your outside, your inside, and your instructions. I'm thinking you need some, uh, like, H640 or, or some Bosal or something like that. Just having a look now. Doesn't say... Anyway, there you go. There's the slide. Beautiful. Is this the pastel one? Yes, yeah, it's the pastel one. Oh, yeah. What are they for? They just left over fabric, the ones on the right. Yeah. You are. Oh, okay. Doesn't, they're not labelled, so they're just left over for, for you to do what you want with, I suppose. Beautiful. QS32. This is the same, but in bright now. You should have seen the look Michael gave me the other day when I threw some fabric at him. Oh, livid, livid. No, no, won't do it again. I was ever so nice. I was being extra lovely to him. 1990, he's in tomorrow apparently. Alex who started, little, little Alex. We haven't, he said Wimbledon, and now he's not in again for another week. I suppose, the thing is, I suppose, no, no, I think also, because he was part of the stage management team, they'll have to dismantle and everything this week, won't they? It won't just be, oh, that was the men's final goodbye, like a ball boy, like I thought he was going to be. Yeah, well, he's only little, and he'd be fast, wouldn't he? <laughs> fast to get that little, I bet he runs fast, with all his little legs. I, I can't imagine he wears little shorts. Ben thought he was what? 1999. Uh, he wears very baggy clothes, and I think underneath the baggy clothes, he's muscles, like, like, you know, like when you've got muscles where we haven't even got places, like little, um, you know when you see a bodybuilder, they've got these three lines here, and you kind of go, what are those for? Because I haven't got anything there. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, when I trained with the, uh, when my personal trainer, I used to train with the England rugby team, it was time that you'd look at them going, why have they got a muscle there? Because all I've got is like a flabby bit under my arm. Yeah, or there, yeah. Anyway, this is beautiful. Bright rainbow. Hmm? Yeah, I like this one best as well. Mind you, that one there's a bit funny, isn't it? Just <laughs> plain charcoal grey. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. That's very controversial. So Ben wouldn't make a messenger bag with his. He'd cut out the rainbow bits and make something else with it. The ombre of the rainbow. But what would you make though? Oh, patchwork, okay. Beautiful, 1999. Sorry, Ken. I've got two more. I've got 23 and 62. 62 first. What's this one then? Oh, this is five inch squares. This was when he did his quilt, wasn't he? he? Used these to make his quilt with. Rainbow five inch squares. 
Oh, that reminds me, I need to get my designs in for my next panel. 16 left, that's all. Wendy's off to work a little bit under the weather. Thought I would chill and forget work. Oh, no. Oh, she works at the Rainbow Centre, so we've not helped. <laughs> Sorry, Wendy. Sam says, morning, John. Think of going to Edinburgh Zoo to see the pandas before they go home to China. Oh. Last time, all I saw was one of their bums. Oh, that's nice, Sandra from Glasgow. Yeah, they're in, we in Glasgow and you didn't go and see the pandas. They're going back to China, though. Oh, Kat wants to know when they're going back so she can plan a trip, Sandra. She could Google it. She's just being lazy. Uh, it's only 14 99 this one. Gorgeous, fabulous colours. Oh, yeah. Ben's listing all the colours you can see now. And he's not singing it. He's actually speaking it. No singing in there. But don't you sing in when you're in your band? Oh, sometimes. Oh, not, you're not the lead singer then. Who was that? No, no, not who Greg... Oh, someone came in through the door. Greg, your friend that, that sometimes stays at your house. Oh, he's got a nice voice, apparently. Oh. Wuthering. Not withering. He said he could do Wither it, Withering Heights by Kate Bush ever so well. Yeah, wuth Wuthering. Oh, right, moving on. Got one, another one now. This one must be the strips then. Now, when Stuart designed it, he designed it so they change halfway across the page or the sheet. So you get twice as many colours and patterns, you say, look. Now, so the yawning, we've only been going for half an hour. Ben's having, to, oh, now that's, we can ask, right? Ben's having trouble sleeping. He gets home from work and, and can sleep then. But then when it comes time to go to bed, I think you need some of this works pillow spray. I'll see if I've got any spare at home for you. Oh no, it's gorgeous. It's, it's, I don't mean this rudely, but it's hugely expensive, but it works. And it's just this, um, it's from a company called This Works. And you just spray your pillow with it. And you, it's like, it smells like the most um, expensive spa resort or thing, but it's lavender and everything. And it'll, that'll send you off to sleep. Well, there is that. Bruce says the best thing to do is have exercise before bed and that'll make you sleep. 1999. What would you suggest? A run. I can't imagine him running. Ben wasn't run. Nineteen. Now you're not got a bath. Ah. Oh. oh, what the people before took it out. Isn't it funny? Because I was going to do that when. Oh, I was going to get rid of my bath and they went, oh, not in a family house size, you never get rid of your bath. No, I wasn't going to get rid of the bathroom, I was going to get rid of the bath. Anyway, moving on. Thanks, Kat, the flame. Oh, she missed that one. Right. I've got extra white backings, I've got some Tim Holtz, what would you like to see first? Tim Holtz. Now, I don't think I've seen these before. They're uh, just by the half metre. They're 44 inches wide. They're rather luscious, aren't they? Do you need the nut? Oh, no, they're obvious, aren't they? Look! Oh, I love that. Alchemy Intrigue, this one's called. Oh, cat. Oh, she's gone. Okay. Oh, they had a mega bundle of these. It completely sold out. When did you have that yesterday? Okay. So the uh, mega bundle sold out and a couple of the individuals sold out so we couldn't remake the mega bundle. So we just got them by the half metre today. Beautiful, aren't they? Gorgeous. Alchemy. Intrigue. This fabric is designed to have a distressed appearance with printed imperfections. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Nothing. What's perfect? Thanks, Kat. Right, now I've got a pink one. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Enamoured, this one. 
enamored with love. I must be American, must because they've missed you out. In that more red. Oh, I love that. I love the fact you've got spl splashes of other colours in there as well. I wonder if there's a repeat. You know what I mean? Because we only have half a metre. And there, there has to be a repeat, obviously, but it'd be interesting to see where it is. Gorgeous. Thanks, Cap. Now I've got purple. As they say in Liverpool. Purple. Oh, they're gorgeous, the colours, aren't they? Gemma says good morning. Good morning, Gemma. Wayne asked me to do another shift on uh, Jewelry Maker. Can't do it. I'm in here. Because I use what I used to do in the old days. I'd do my shift here and then go over. Well, you're in different buildings and go and do the afternoon show. But they don't have an afternoon show anymore. And I've never been asked to do cardboard, surprisingly. I don't know. No, not been asked at all. Hello, handsome Adam. Oh, it's handsome Adam waving to everyone. Maybe been to, been to the little boys' room. Opulent, this one's called. He's doing what? Oh, what? He's learning how to do it. Who is? He was in EastEnders. Oh, what? what does he look like? And he's learning how to do cardboard. Oh, of course it's jewelry one, isn't it? Wait. Oh, cat, the pandas are going back at the end of October. Cat says, call those Tim Holtz fabrics a bit of all right. I need them all. Well, be careful because they're very limited. Very, very limited. Is this one you love, the gold one? This is Ben's favorite. £8.49, this is Radiant, this one's called. It's the one with writing on there at the top. Bruce is very good at lip reading, isn't he? Are there any, are there any written instructions there? Could you ask if they're meant to be? Gorgeous Radiant. Well, be careful, cat, not you, cat, cat at home with the pink hair. They're very popular, these. Oh, yes, because he's just painted his lounge gold, hasn't he? What, where the desk is in the lounge? Oh, no, I've not seen that. Oh, honestly. Why have you got a computer in there and a computer in the other room then? It's one for work and one for music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lovely. Green. Oh, I like this one as well. It's like a proper pea green, this one. Elixir, they've called this one. Elixir. The elixir of life. £8.49. Beautiful. Cat, you're doing ever so good at catching all these fabrics. Ready, Cat? Oh, yes. Yeah, she got it. She got it. Right, now, what's this colour? Is this magenta? I'd call it magenta, what they called it. Oh, hang on, we haven't changed this graphic. Yet. There we go. Run it, run it. Oh. oh, hang on, let me just go and see if cats, cats f folded them all up and piled them over here. Hang on. Thank you, cat. Just that one there. Have they sent me the same one twice? Oh. Oh, no, that's meant to be red, that one. Thank you. I'll do it from a red image. 
Oh dear, that they've sent up two of the pink ones. I thought it was odd. Oh wow! Intense, yeah, it is rather. I'm bringing it up now. There it is. Look at that. Morning, John. Loving the shirt. You always make my day with your funny stories. Never change. Oh, Dorothy, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. Right. Extra wides next. Uh, can we do this one? It's like uh, IPYH43. Love this one. Look at this. I'd have a shirt made out of that, definitely. Is it Dahlia? Yeah, Dahlia's a pom pom. Yeah, yeah. They've just called it Impressionist Floral. Multi extra wide. 274, 108 inches. <coughs> oh, excuse me. How many coffees do you drink in the morning? Because you already had one during prep that was strong. That was your strong one, was it? Yeah. Okay. Three during the show. Oh, I'd be like a gibbering wreck. Mm. Bruce has five. And tea in between the coffees. When do you... Uh, one, yeah, you can have one at home. Well, now you come in later, you can have more than one at home. Bring one with him. And then he has them during the show as well. Uh, do you have any? Oh, no, you don't drink hot drinks, do you? You going out for dinner tonight? Oh, after dinner. Well, if you have one after dinner, do you still sleep? Oh, it's fine. It's what keeps you awake. Beautiful. That's lovely, that one. I love that one. Uh, colour wheels. This was new the other day. It's lovely, isn't it, this one? Viv says, morning, John. Watching for my hospital appointment. See if I've... Oh, dear. I don't know what that means. To see if I've got copied. Oh, COPD instead of asthma. Oh, dear. I thought COPD was what you got when you came back from war. What's that then? Oh, no, send you lots of love, Viv. What am I talking about then? What do the soldiers get? Dress, PTS. Yeah, that's it. Oh, no, Viv, let us know. Let us know, Viv, my love. 12.99. My next door neighbour's got it. Oh. Beautiful. 12.99. Power for meter. <laughs> Bruce said if he had this his wall his bedroom wallpaper like this, that maybe that would help you sleep. Now they're not princess cut diamonds. Because princess cut is square, isn't it? Yeah, no, you're thinking of the super brilliant ones or the Glen Lera ones where it's slightly off or concave maybe. Yeah, Princess is square with a flat bit in the, uh, it's, it's square, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Viv says, I haven't got a uh, PTSD husband gives me that. Oh, Viv, Viv now, beautiful. That's gorgeous, that one, beautiful. Then we've got noir, no, nighttime and daytime, haven't we? Soiree. I've got soiree. Matinee. Because I joked, didn't I? This is the thing. This is soiree. I went, Don't tell me the other one's called matinee, and it is. Love it. Uh, now, this one's again 108 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight, 100% cotton. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, cat got the Tim Holtz fabrics. Well done. Well done, my love. What are you going to make? I thought about you, Kat, on um, Saturday, Sunday, because they were doing lots of face painting. And I thought, if, I, if one of those ladies got pink hair and it's Kat, it wasn't there, though. And it's producer Kat from Cardboard. It's her birthday today. She'll be in later. She's doing a birthday show. She's got a discount code and everything. Even I don't get a discount code. Did you come on air? Oh, well, that's why, then. Oh. 
Hannah went up and they went, oh, you do a birthday? She went, all right then, and they never did it. She had two fabrics, reduced two fabrics. Now I've got matinee. Beautiful. What would you add on it? Confetti, matinee, like what? Beautiful. Twelve ninety-nine. I think they've forgotten that I um that for me as well. So I'll have to have words. Beautiful. 108 inches wide. Confetti matinee. Oh, Lisa. Morning, John. Just about my bumper delivery, including my first quilt and bag to make. Starting my sewing journey very soon from Lisa in Cardiff. Oh, Jochen Vauer. Lovely. And then the last extra wide is sequins. It's not real sequins. Just pictures of sequins. Ombre through the rainbow colours. They're easier to sew than real sequins, Ben say. Oh, sewing will be finishing soon, won't it? Yeah. 12 99 for half a metre. Twelve ninety nine. Gorgeous. Right now, I've got some like um, two and a half inch strips, laser cut. From, do you mean those? Yep. Now let me have a look. So I've got, I'm just checking because I'm not sure if I had these the other day. Oh yeah. Right, so I'm starting with Harvest Warmth, which is AWUI 63. Beautiful. 44.99. Yeah, now I had these in the clearance the other day. Well, let's match it. We're not supposed to, but go on. Good morning, John. Everyone finished work early today. Blimey, you finished already, Teresa. Love that Tim Holtz. It's beautiful, isn't it? 34.99. 34.99. So they're two and a half inch strips. They're 44 inches long. And they're beautiful. Now, these have not got any patterns on them. These are just the, like, the background batik. Just the inky designs. The what? Texture. Ben loves these. Gorgeous. So you get all of those in there. $34.99. Oh no. Oh. Christine. Are you going to put it up or not? I'm just sending Christine my love. Um, morning, John. Love to see your cheery disposition. Feeling low, so watch you to cheer me up. Anniversary tomorrow and I'm missing my late husband. Oh, Christine. Christine, you've got to remember he's always with you. He's always, always, always with you. So never think that. And I'm glad we can help a little bit. Beautiful. $34.99. Teresa started work at 3.30 this morning. That's how she's finished already. Hello, starting at 3.30. When I, uh, I'm flying to Kefalonia in a couple of weeks' time and the flight is at hot, the flight is at hoppers five in the morning. So that means we have to be at the airport like oh, plus two, three o'clock, doesn't it? Right, I'm not complaining because I'm gone holiday. Uh, now I've got uh, Daybreak ending 73. Thank you. Beautiful. Now these have got, look, now, has anyone seen Charlie recently? When I was in last, what day was I in last? Charlie was very sad and very, very quiet. Oh, well, we just, we all, we just left him and just get on with the day and everything. Oh, he's all right. That's all right then. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Beautiful. Anyway, the only time he brightened up on that day is I went, look, Charlie, turtles. He went... Yay, turtles. 
Beautiful. Oh, look at the pinks. I didn't see the pinks in there. Oh, I love that one. Beautiful. Gorgeous at 34 99 Remember, these have been reduced by £10. And then I've got Last Ambrosia. This is my favourite. Beautiful pastel tones. Again, no patterns on this one, just the inky. 34 99 £10 off. Right, you just have a look at that while I slurp some of my ginger water. Oh. Oh, I should, maybe I should buy chopped ginger rather than keeping going washing to the supermarket to buy it fresh. Could you put hot water on chopped ginger then? In a jar? And what's it stored in then? As in... Oh, OK. Where'd you get it from? Oh. I don't know what that is. No, the name of the shop. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh, you see, no, my Julie, my sister-in-law loves Morrison's because they've. Got, she says they've got the best gluten-free and vegan aisle. Because Alex, my niece, is gluten-free and vegan. Oh, thirty-four ninety-nine. Beautiful. Who's that from? Chris, Christina Wiltshire would never be mean. Christine, um, which one am I doing next? You say. Wiltshire Shadow Rainbow Bundle. That's this one here. Here we go. So it's yellow, green. Oh, it's five pounds off this. 54.43. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Yeah, three and a half meters. Beautiful. 54.43, should be 59.43. Gorgeous, that's beautiful, all the same fabric. Right now, but the, the, that one, the print on that one looks bigger than the print on that one. Now, is it just because the color? No, I think the print's definitely bigger on that one. Doesn't it? Maybe it is loads in baskets you can buy frozen chopped ginger in little blocks like ice cubes works perfectly as a ginger drink <gasps> Teresa, where do i get those from Teresa, i've never heard they like because the trouble is i buy the the root and then you chop away think well, i must stop and get another one on my way home tomorrow and then if you get there and they haven't got one i'm stuck then i, I peel it because sometimes the, the skin's a little bit and rough, yeah. You do what? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I just chop it off. Anyway. Check out, check out, check out. You're loving this one. About two minutes. The witch. Rainbow thimble. Very limited. Oh, sorry, do you want me to move it? Gorgeous, like, giant thimble. In the Asian section in the freezer aisle in Sainsbury's. Oh. I shall have to go looking. I have to find the Sainsbury's first. Oh, there's one around here, is there? Is it near here, though? No, I'm not going there, though. Donna says, morning, John, everyone. I think everyone's just waking up, are they? All your alarms set for quarter to nine. It's a lie-in for me, this. But Bruce, how old are you, Bruce? Exactly, so that's 22 years away, at least. Bruce is like, like they, when I retire, I won't get up 
early ever again. I said that. Yeah, I said that. And then, uh, when was my day off? Yesterday. Why do I wait up? I've got up at half past five, so I must have woken up before that. And the sun, the birds tweeting and everything. Right, going for a break now. Straight after break, Debbie's here. We are making a caravan, elephant, sewing machine, watering can, pin cushions. We'll see you in four from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If 
you're a sewing street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Can we have a bit of love in for Debbie Harris, please? Here she is. Wave. Hello. Hello. Oh, you're sending me lots of love today. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's sending you lots of love today. Oh, thank you. So nice to be back. I haven't seen you for... Oh. Well, that one of the festivals was the last time I saw you. It wasn't here. I no, when would that have been? Um, I can't remember which one it was now, but... No, it's I It's been can't. lots, long, 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 long time. Long, long yeah. time, long time. Well, I'll tell you when it was. Was it in... Um, can't have been Ireland, because that was Ireland. a year ago. That was a That's, year ago. That's September. Yeah, no. Uh, you were, you were, we would have when seen... were you selling? Oh, it might have been here because you were selling your little. Selling um... my little Susie, Susie Suzuki. Yeah. Camp van, yeah. Yeah, so yeah that's you... about a year ago. Yeah. That can't be a year yeah. since I've seen you, yeah, surely. Yeah, no. You were at festival, weren't you? Festival of Quilts last year. I've seen you at the festival. Yeah, but that's a year ago. No. Because I've been at festival since then. I've what not about, aged. Did you go to. No, I know, neither have I. <laughs> did um, I go where? Ali Pally. No. Um, Harrogate? No. No, it's a year. No. That's terrifying, isn't it? Oh, I've missed you. Oh. Right, shall we tell you what's for sale in this hour? Because they're selling already. So I'm going to start off with, they're all pink cushions. I'm starting off with the caravanette. Here you go. How cute is this? That's the pattern on its own, first of all. So there they are. These are the, I'll put them on. The, oh, hang on now. I've got to get the placing right here. You there you go. These are the instructions on their own. Camera will move in a second. Bruce hates it. Bruce. What are you eating? 12 bites. We can't have those because they'll make us cough while we're on air. They'll stick and to your teeth, wouldn't they? Yeah. Anyway, instructions, all the instructions, everything are all in here. All with loads in baskets, loads and loads in baskets. All the instructions and your templates and everything like that. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Right, whilst you're checking out on that, morning John and Debbie, can't wait for the soft sculpture as I'm making a Boston Terrier's head as I'm watching, been up since half past three because I couldn't sleep, says Sam. Oh, morning John and Debbie, looking forward to this cute little caravan, says Jacqueline. Aww. Donna says, sorry, I'm late, I've just finished a run. What's wrong with you, Donna? <laughs> right, so that's nine ninety-nine for that. If you want to make it in this fabric, then you can do, because that's this bundle. Oh, hang on, I picked up two there. William Morris and blue. So there's your pattern. And now what are these? These fat quarters. Two fat quarters. £13.99. Wow. Yes, two fat quarters. Two fat quarters plus your instructions. Beautiful, fantastic price for a little bundle there, isn't it? £13.99. So now, um, obviously, that's your patterned fabric there to go on the top and underneath here and along here. Gorgeous. Love the little bunting here. Oh, beautiful. Loads in baskets, £13.99 for that project. Now, obviously, you're going to need some felt and some stuffing. I've got that coming up in a minute. And some iron on interfacing. Right, so that's that one. Then I've got the red and white Liberté. Well, I don't say white, it's calico. Is it ca calico or naturally seeded? Uh, calico I've used. I'm not sure. I can tell you by the width of it. Yeah, it's calico. Mm. It's calico. Beautiful. I'm surprised then he's left after Ben nicked it all the other day. Right, I didn't nick it. He nicked it for his show, not for taking home. Uh, anyway, look. 13.99. Morning, John and Debbie. Off work this week, so happy to tune in live for change, says Suzanne. Oh, Welcome, that's Suzanne. Nice. So that's your red, what red and your cream one. 
and we've also got this one now i think this one might be my favorite that's gorgeous that one isn't it there that blue floral <coughs> navy floral now i think oh no i don't know it's lovely i don't know what that is beautiful love it love it love it and then my last one you're gonna absolutely adore this one strawberry thief in your aqua plus your gray oh oh, I ne oh honestly now. i never touched it <laughs> she's wrecking the set she's no. just went like this and pushed things off the shelf the behind her in the set do you want me to put it back is it in one piece yeah why does it fall off oh haunted they say this end this end of the studio is haunted no yeah somebody's just Oh, up there. Oh. oh, in the old set. Oh, I thought you said it was in this Perhaps set. Perhaps just came over to say hello to us. Just yeah, let us maybe. know they're around. Missing us, because that's just all empty, isn't it? Wait till, wait till, is it then next week? They're moving in next week. They'll be pushed to move in next week. Oh, yeah, the end of July, they're meant to be in there, aren't they? There's a new studio came in there. Oh. You're not allowed to touch that table. Do not oh, touch I did. the I white table. It. I no. did, I touched it. Michael, Michael, who does floor, got told off last week for touching it really well he Is loaded he? all his they spent all night painting it that gloss white oh. and then he put all the sewing machines <laughs> i mean i didn't really touch it no <laughs> it's fine you're but tall enough behind there you're right i took my shoes off oh Do that's all right you can have a double mat i don't know whether the i took my shoes off because i sew barefoot yeah yeah i've got my socks on yeah. but <laughs> anyway the next bundle coming up <laughs> now that's it for the caravan oh Lord. that's it for Bless the caravan you, you are good I did feel a bit small. Yeah, of course it has. Absolutely flying out the William Morris one, the Aqua one, the uh, Aqua um, Strawberry Thief one, Strawberry Thief one. N now, <clears throat> would you like to? I'm going to go through everything that's on my table. Oh, actually, no. Before I do that, let me do the felt. Let me do the felt. This now, when I had this on air months and months and months ago, it sold out in minutes. This bundle, right? You get 45 different colours. 45 squares they're all six inch square for 17 pound 49 pence look at the colors all the different greens the blues the purples the pinks the reds golds black and white every color so you can have any colored front door on your caravan that you would like have you seen that lady i think she's in bath and she's uh, she lives in a high conservation area and the doors can only be black white or red and she painted as pink and court battle and everything. Anyway, this, so she's like, I'll paint it white. She did one of those hint of pink whites and they've gone, that's no, not white. Yeah. still pink. But it, the thing is, right, I mean, I think people should be allowed to do what they want to do. But if you're in a really, really, really high conservation area, you know when you buy the house, it'll be in the rules. Your front door can only be different where if you live where I live, you know what I mean? You can do whatever color you want. But when it's a rule rule, I kind of agree with it. Anyway, 17 pounds 49. For all of that felt. Beautiful. <clears throat> uh, right, now I'll get on with the next one. The elephant. Uh, this is what your elephant looks like. They're all pink cushions, but they could be... A oh, now, somebody said on Facebook last night, didn't they, that that um, caravan could be like a little doorstop, could not it? I thought that was a really good idea. And if I photocopied your pattern pieces bigger... Would, yeah. it still, would it work yeah yeah just, just make it make it as big as you want then yeah you? yeah perfect as a doorstop yeah especially in a caravan if you had a caravan Do you have doors in a caravan yeah no yeah. they're like this doors in a caravan go like that don't you've they? not got a very good opinion of caravan. yeah you've got yeah you've got doors you can have a nice caravan doorstop in your caravan yeah but i've never seen a proper door in a caravan yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. especially the big static ones well when Piers They're Brosnan like... on the Bond film Piers Brosnan's caravan where we went on location you went in I go oh he's not very happy with that it's ever so small and you go and you press a button and the sides oh, move the side, like that yeah like the American ones oh no it was like a big proper American oh, thing I and I went in and I was like this is bigger than my flat <laughs> anyway that was would be for Piers Brosnan wouldn't it uh, yeah lovely oh. Piers anyway elephant pink cushion in the grey <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was the instruction. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. I was, I was too busy chatting. That, that was the instruction on its own. Nine ninety-nine. What, what? There you go. There's all your pattern pieces, all your instructions, loads of pictures. 
gorgeous, nine ninety nine. Now I've got the grey William Morris one. <clears throat> That's pretty, isn't it? So you just need a fat. Is that just a fat quarter? Yeah. Fat quarter plus your instructions. Oh, hang on, I've got dark. Oh yeah, light green. They've called this one for some reason. Thirteen ninety nine. Thirteen ninety nine. Okay, now I've also got the one with the uh, polka dot spot. Okay. Uh, this one's the great. Oh, now isn't that funny? <clears throat> I said that was green more than that one, but it's grey. A polka dot. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a gluten-free blueberry muffin, and it's. I don't normally have those, and it's. <coughs> anyway, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm fine. Not sitting very well. Right, that's the elephant. Right now, did you say we would also need some iron interfacing? Yes. Lightweight. Lightweight interfacing, just to make the fabric a bit more structured. Okay, lovely. So you iron this onto all your fabric before you can yes, sell. Yes, yeah. Stop offering Debbie chocolate. She's got a whole it's hour to talk now. She can't be yeah, having a twirl. No, I, I can have one in a minute. I'll have some at 10. <laughs> yeah, oh, there won't be any left. The rate cat gets through them. <laughs> uh, oh, just kick the camera. Two ninety-nine. <clears throat> <clears throat> right, uh, now what else? Now I've got... Clips. Oh, now I've got more patterns as well. I've got more patterns to show you. Do clips, then I'll do some patterns. Then we'll do some sewing. Right, there's your clips. Now there's a, a hundred. Oh, this is brilliant value. This hundred millwood clips in there. <coughs> <coughs> Listen to you and me both of us coughing away. You've set me off now. Wait, no. I don't know why the door's wide open. We can see everybody Come walking past us. No, you're fine. You've got sewing to do. Um. Oh, now I could add some gossip here. Wayne and Rachel from Dudley have just arrived at the same time. Saying nothing. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, <laughs> patterns. Now, I've got this one here, which is the sewing machine. <laughs> now, this always makes me laugh, and it shouldn't, right? The sewing machine pin cushion, but you also get the spool and the button. Beautiful. No, nine ninety nine. But hang on, that's nine ninety nine with the embellishments. Mm -hmm. <coughs> There's something going on today with the prices. You shouldn't be getting that and that for nine ninety nine. Loads of you coming in for this. Loads, and it's very very popular. And all the all the um, shows, all the ev uh, um, events, it's always there on your stand, mm -hmm. isn't it? Being the oh, most popular. But yeah, people love it. Which is nice. Gorgeous. What's at the bottom bit there? It's card, so it's made out of card, and then you make the little box. Oh, and, then and there's the instructions of that in there? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's all fancy. You'll have to watch cardboard this afternoon to go and buy some cardboard from next door. It's mm. Kat's birthday today. Producer Kat. You know, producer oh, Kat's yeah, her birthday. birthday. 28 years. 28. Nine ninety nine. You get the button and the spool as well. Look, well, they use the button for the um, hand cranker, and then spools there for your thread <coughs> on the top. That's just instruction. We've not got any bundles for that. You need your own fabric. I presume you just need a fat quarter, do you? Mm -hmm. Just need a fat quarter. Then I've got the watering can. Lacanda watering. There you go. There's your watering can pin cushion. Instructions. Look cute, isn't it? And I also love, you've done like they do. Ooh, that's a bit lethal. Oh. I wonder why she grabbed the top, John. Anyway, I'd like you've done it like, you know, the thread magic we've got that's got the little the non losable lid. You've got a non losable lid on this one as well. My watching can doesn't have a lid at home. No, mine doesn't. Oh. No. That one does. That's why. But that's got, because you can put all your little clips in there. And oh, you, yeah. You can Don't actually, put your pins in like that. No, though. that is a bit lethal. It's just for demonstration purposes. Just for but you can getting put all the your presenter clips. purposes. I know you. 
Right, look, yeah, look. Oh, look, yeah. cute. Yeah. Anyone can tip Matt because somebody it. will be for sure to do that. Right, nine ninety nine that pattern. Right, should we do some sewing? Which one are you doing then? I'm going to show you how to do the um, caravan, <laughs> not the watering can. Oh, oh dear, it's going to be one of those it's days. It's going to be today. one of them days. No, it's not, John. No. I have um, to tell you, sorry, the caravan bundles are all approaching limited now already. And there's loads. There were loads of those. Yeah. Anyway, I've broken the bag, but never mind. Go on. Yeah. Then. So we're going to look. At, we're going to look at the caravan. So um, when you get your pattern home, it's all um, you've got all the photographs step-by-step -step instructions of how to make it measurements and then you also get on the insert this is just half of it because I've cut the pattern pieces out to show you so you get the layout so that you know how to place all the little felt pieces the bunting and the little lines for the bunting string and you can see here I've just cut these out all the little pattern pieces so they're all full size so you can just if you want to make it that so it comes out this size yeah then that's the, the full size but as you said john if you wanted to make it bigger then you could just enlarge it and make it as big as you want yeah so i've already made half of it um and i'm going to show you how to do this this half with the um just the two windows so you've got the one side has got the door both got a wheel and a window and then this side has just got two windows and the wheel okay so when you make your um to make the fabric it's half calico and half pattern fabric now the the pattern sort of gives you the option to either have the pattern fabric at the top or calico at the bottom doesn't really matter which way around you do it because no. the thing with these patterns <coughs> you, you need it to be able to make you know so you've got the right sizes but then you can decorate it with whatever you want put buttons on it change the fabric do it in a solid fabric whatever you want yeah so to find the center of the when you've cut the caravan side out fold it in half lengthways and then fold it in half widthways so you've got the center and then with your fabric let me just pop those pins off and show you you cut two pieces of fabric, they're pretty much the same size, and they don't have to be an exact size because all you're doing is doing a quarter of an inch seam, top stitching across the calico edge, and that's gonna be the front, so one side of your caravan. Um, and then that's your new piece of fabric, if you like, to then place your pattern on, which you've just halved and halved, and then you're going to, um, Kat told me not to put it down, should leave it like that, Debbie. It looks pretty. And you've just come over and... What? Oh! <laughs> Hello, John. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I don't think we've ever been this close up before. <gasps> That's a lie. We've snogged many oh, times. Oh, don't tell everyone. Um, so, when, so you pin your pattern piece on and then we're going to cut it out. All right. Well, you've come even closer now, haven't you? Yeah. You have missed me, haven't you? I have. I can tell. You've lost weight, haven't you? I have lost a bit of weight. Lots Can you of tell? weight. Yeah, definitely. I could oh, tell, that's tell good. when you walked in. I thought I'm not going to tell her oh, straight away. Oh, that's good because I put a bit back on, John. Oh no, no, definitely. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you, you fancy me even more now. <laughs> could that be possible? He's making me. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to cut this out now. Oh, you're going shaky. So I go away. I have gone. I'll go away. I've gone a bit, bit giddy. Is him at home watching? Yeah. Oh, I oh, he has the morning off to watch me. No. Yeah. Where is he then? He could have come in. He's looking after the dog. Dog he normally sitting. carries your bags and I things, know. doesn't he? I know, he's my little gopher, isn't he? I have to do it myself now. Oh, no. mind that table, Kat. The thing is, John, when I can come <clears> in on my own, I can flirt with you. And the boys in the hotel, from what I heard. <laughs> I wish. Oh, no, that's Stuart I'm thinking I about. Sat oh, yeah, I was going to say, that's not me. Sat downstairs in the hotel. All on your own. All on my own last oh. night. I didn't even take my phone down. I thought, no, I'll take, I'll go down, something to eat. Um, didn't even take my phone. Sat there. What do you do when you've not Billy got no phone? Yeah. But then we didn't have phones in the old well, days. That's what I a thought. Book. It was book. Disapp and I didn't bring my book. Whereabouts do you stay then in Redditch? I stay at. Yeah, am I allowed to say? Yeah. The Abbey. Oh, okay. Do you know the Abbey? Yeah. It's ever so nice. Oh, is it nice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the in Redditch. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You've got you have a you call Redditch, but I really like it. It's only because I got punched in Redditch <laughs> yeah. by that... a lady. Oh my god! Well, it's not like that at the Abbey. It's not like that. Cat. 
She, I hope Packed she very posh at the Abbey. She's not touched that. Um, no, she table, just knocked the step ladder over it. No, right. What, what have we got there? What's that top so, stitch in so there? So what? That's I've, I've sewn those two pieces together, the yeah. calico and the pattern piece, and then that's your top stitch just oh, for okay. decoration. Yeah, yeah, lovely. And then I'm, I've put them side by side because you're doing this mirror image. So this is the one side that I've done with the door. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to put the wheel the same because when you put them fall together, over. Yeah. it would fall over. So you're doing the yeah, mirror <clears> image. <throat> Do you get me? Yeah? Do you get me, John? Yeah, I've got, I get you. And then, so you're just going to place them on like this. Doesn't matter, really. Sorry, I'll turn that over. So they not have doors on both sides, caravans? No. Mm. Have you not, you're not? you too posh for a caravan, aren't you? No. You must be if you didn't know they had doors and... No, you thought they hadn't got doors inside. They have got doors inside. I've got two doors on the two outside. Two doors on the outside. I pass a lot on the motorway when you're overtaking Oh, them. I love caravans. This has been on my design table for a long time, John. Right. It's been a long time coming, this one. So can you see, I'm, I'm gluing them on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm going to top stitch. Sort of a, they're not appliqued. You could put Bonderweb on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you I just thought it yeah. was easy yeah. just to... Uh, if I was doing this at home, and wouldn't necessarily do the white on the cream, but oh, I've, I've got dark thread, so I thought that was a Oh, okay, contract. I was going to say, you used to fit out the felt kit. Oh, what I like as well, it's just little pieces to work with all the time, isn't it? Yeah, just little pieces. You got it on zigzag, have you? No? Well, I wasn't going to do it on zigzag, because I'm going to draw my um, window, you see, with curtains. Oh, okay. But you can, you could do zigzag, do what you want, mm. couldn't you? And that's what I like, when people come to see me at the shows, they carry all the little sam all the little makes around mm -hmm. and bring them over and say, Debbie, look, I've made you sewing machine. And it's so nice. I'm just making that stitch length a bit longer because this is just a decorative. Oh, I've gone over the edge, John. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. This is just a decorative top stitch. Yeah. So I'm just doing it a little bit, um, make the stitch a bit longer. So you're going around the edge of the window. <laughs> This is when you've got an earpiece in. You well, see, like I've it, not got an earpiece in, no, so could he's be eating anything. his cornflakes and he's trying to eat it really, really quietly. So you I, can't hear yeah. it, but you can. Can you eat cornflakes quietly? No. You can't. But he was, he was going like this, because you can see like. them through the window now. He's going this really... And almost sucking the cornflakes to eat them. Oh, they'd be a bit soggy, wouldn't they, then? Yeah. So I'm just drawing, when you get the pattern home, yeah. you'll see uh, this is already in there. So you can follow the sewing oh, lines yeah, if you need but to. But if you wanted to, you could but make little curtains for them and things. That would be nice. You've got a little bit of fabric at home. Yeah. You could use some lawn or something like that. Yeah, I think that the Tana lawn would be lovely, yeah. wouldn't it? So yeah, but I'm just I'm just top stitching around. But you can... And, uh, and also, as you say, somebody said, oh, it's too nice for a pin cushion, but you don't have to make it, or it can be a pin cushion, but well, you don't have to put an as well. ornament. Sweet little ornament, isn't it? It's like the sewing machines. I just think they're cute to have in your sewing room, aren't they? You don't have to put it pin cushion, uh, pins in them. No. But I like to use stuff, John. I'm one of those people who, you know, like with people have things for best. Yeah. I don't. No. You. Well, I used to. I always tell the story about years ago. But I mean, I'm talking long, long time ago now. I bought a Paul Smith shirt, yeah, which cost me so much money because it was embroidered in India and everything. It was beautiful, yeah. blue linen, and had all this gorgeous embroidery. And I put it on. I thought I'll keep it for best. Keep it for best. Mm. Two years later, it's still on the. Yeah. It's still hanging on the rail. Yeah. So then I thought I wore it to a premiere at Leicester Square one day. And loved it. And then from then on, I just used to wear it as one of my normal shirts. Yeah. I just absolutely adored yeah. it. But you kind of think about times per wear. And you know what? In two years, it cost me £200 for one wear. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, but then after that, I just wore it over and over and over. Yeah. It's like these. I suddenly thought this morning, right? So this shirt, this butterfly shirt, I wore this to a wedding which was about seven years ago. 1984. Yeah, well, no. And then I remember thinking, well, it's 10 years old, this one already. So it's yeah. ancient, this shirt. It's not, though, is it? Look how nice. Yeah, what, no. What do you use? Wash your powder. Because well, the thing that is, is really the thing is, bright, though, if you think it? about my shirts, they only get one three times a year because there's a rail. Have my, you got that many shirts? I've got 150 shirts, you see. So it's kind of like... <laughs> And some of them, some favourite ones come out more often, I think. But so they only get, it's not like... It's only getting washed Like my times. pants and my jeans, everything get washed every all day, the all the time. So they're going to wear out. But these don't, I, I just do it on a 40 degree wash. Yeah, you can see. And it's also still it's like, like new, isn't it? Mm. Gosh. Right, sorry. 
Honda but it's ancient. 50 shirts. How big's your wardrobe then? It's a room. Like a no. Have you got? Is it an open room? Where's the calendar? I'll show you on the calendar. Is it you, open? Yeah. No, it's my, it's what the fourth bedroom. We're having a tour now around John's um, no, wardrobe. No, no, it's because it's on the calendar. Oh, do you know what? Apparently they've got one. Well, not apparently. I've seen it. They've got one of these <coughs> calendars next door, and they they've defaced every month. Oh no, they haven't. Oh, they've done it. Somebody's coloured in my oh, teeth on that no. one. They're not really pink. Oh my goodness. It's my lovely postman. Can you see this? Is this your actual postman? Yes, yeah, Nick, not my postman. Seen it. I mean, I, I should really say, yeah, I know what's on it. That's November when I grow the oh, thing. Oh, yeah. Where's the sh where, that's my pop in shop. Where's. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, yes, hang on. Like, this one's a bit. That's my downstairs bedroom. Bit, that used to be my office. Bit calendar girls, that one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, it's all my presents that people have made that's for me, so. Right, oh, look. wow. So I've got a rail along this wall. That's the length of the wall. And they're my show jeans and my show shirts. And then on this wall, are all, oh, yeah, I'm going down, are all these shirts that I wear in everyday life. And my jeans are everyday life on that one. Oh, there. I see. Just yeah, I recognise that. I recognise a few of them. Yeah. There's, oh, you've got a few. Are they there, butterflies? There, aren't oh, they? Oh, there's quite a few butterfly ones. In fact, this, I do themes now. This week is butterfly themes. Oh. Every day this week I'm wearing a butterfly shirt. He's got too much time on his hands, hasn't he? Because oh, no. <laughs> I'm sad and lonely, that's why. Oh, get the okay. violin out for John. He's not sad and lonely at all. He's got all, all his sewing street bands. I've seen them all queuing up for you at the NEC. Oh, we've got that too, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, you going? So you go, yeah. What day are you going? I'm there. I've got a stand. Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, blind. She's got a stand. Go and say hello to her. I had a stand last year. I know. Well, I know you did. But yeah. I haven't no, seen you for a year, have I? So I don't know what you're up to. No, I'm doing the same. Yeah, it's got a stand. But so do that's... you know what it is yet? Do you know what number it is yet? Well, it's just moved. I've just been moved and I've oh. got a bigger one. Oh. Only to make room. Somebody else wanted to be where we were. You know what it's like. Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah, massive yeah. jigsaw. So, um, so they gave you a bigger one. Got a bigger one. Lovely. You've got enough stuff to fill it. You've got enough little sewing machines to fill it. <laughs> have I got enough stuff to fill it and I also while I'm there I have a little table to demo things oh yeah that's right so yeah. come over yeah and hello. also I say this every day people go oh I saw you there but I couldn't come and say oh, hello oh no she likes it she likes if you go and say hello I've not got any friends so I only go, no. <laughs> I only go to see people don't let the man put you off there Dave oh he's good at the show oh, he's to be lovely, fair. he is good at the show right what are you doing so why so you bend what I'm the, doing, you bend yeah, so what I'm doing is this piece one thing I will say about this piece, so this is the gusset piece. I yeah. Got, yeah. Yeah. So this is the bit, this is a bit, got a bit squashed in my bag. Um, this is your gusset piece. So it goes obviously all the way around. In the bottom there as well, while I think about it, there's a little rectangle of card. Oh, is there? Um, or you could use Decaville just to, so that it sits nicely. Yeah. Did we get so Decaville? Was there any in, in stock? <clears throat> oh, we got Decaville. Perfect. Cat. Decaville, it'd be in that box that Roy Decaville's brought Decaville's perfect because you'll need that. Ideally, you can use card, yeah, but no, if no. you've got Decaville, it's nice, isn't yeah. it? Because you can um, adhere it to the base. There is 17, you get a huge piece, though, for 17. Then it's you know. nice to have, though, isn't it? Yeah, I no, think it's good it's, to have your stash because there's yeah. a, you've got something later on. Oh, yeah, and you're sewing. So, so you're sewing organiser. Yeah. I mean, so, you are getting a lot. Let me just show you. You are getting a lot for your 17 99 I'm I mean, yeah, you are getting a lot, but yeah. I like to have it in, to be fair. I like it. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. Because you could use it for bags and all How sorts. How big a bit have you got in there? There we go. Oh, it's that big. Yeah. It's that big. That's what you need it for. Brilliant. Because you, so you make the gusset, but I'm always conscious, John, with my patterns when they're, because they're all, obviously they're 3D shapes. So they bend and move. Everybody's quarter inch seam is different on the machine. Yeah. So I would always say with the gusset piece, these pieces, all the sizes are in the pattern. This longer piece that goes along the base, I'd cut it a couple of inches longer. Yeah. Because if you cut it exact, and then you've sewn it all the way round, and then you're a bit, a short, bit short, would at the you end, agree? Exactly, yeah. Oh no, no, so totally, totally. I don't like sort of saying, oh, don't follow the pattern, because you need to but always make that bigger and right. then you can always trim it to fit. Now there's loads and loads and loads in baskets. I know you're just sitting watching the demonstration. Make sure you don't miss out by not checking out. You do need to check out. <clears throat> and you can always get back in touch with me anyway to if you have got any questions yeah. after the show. So with this end, when this goes around the van, these are the, the front and back pieces. So I've already sewn an appliqued on the windows. Yeah. It's all, it's all this is in the pattern anyway. You've got the roof piece, which is your pattern fabric, and this base piece. Make sure that's longer than the pattern says. Yeah. And the reason I've cut, I've folded this a quarter of an inch 
is because that's a seam allowance. Right. So if you fold that in on its back on itself, if you like, because we're going to sew that right sides together. Hang on. Right sides together. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it this, which way am I doing it? Because I have to be comfy on the sewing machine. So when you are sewing it, that quarter of an inch seam needs to be on the patterned edge. Yeah. Because that is going to be sewn when you sew it all the way, way around, around your seam allowance. But again, it's r it is clear in the pattern. Yeah. So I'm going to start with that quarter of an inch to the left and then I'm going to start sewing around. Now, I'm not a pinner with things like this. Right. I just prefer to edge my way around it. But you could pin, you could clip, mm -hmm. couldn't you? Yeah, you definitely. Clips. Let me just grab the clips. Because if you are, if no. they do, oh, I'm chucking them about now. They're like tiddlywinks, aren't they, them little clips? Do What's tiddlywinks? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? You sort of touch one and then it springs out. Yeah. So you could clip them like that. Although I think they actually go the other way around, don't they? Yeah. Like that. And then it will help you. But don't you don't want to put too many around because they're going to get in your way it more than because it's quite a small piece, isn't it? It's yeah. easier just to do it freehand. Yeah, it, well, I think so. But it, you could. And then you're going to go all the way around, all the way around. What do you say, Ben? Single figures, single figures on the, on the, well, the hang on, the, the, you mean the strawberry thief aqua one? The other one was oh the dark one. This, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. The one the samples made out of. Sorry, that's my bad. So single figures on this one now. So what I've done, I have reduced my stitch length because it's a curve. You want the stitches to be small. I've not gone as small as I perhaps would at home because it's no. just for speed. Because the smaller they are, the easier it is to sew yeah, around, around the, the curve. curve yeah. And it's all curved, isn't it's it? It's all curved. That's the thing, which is why I'm just conscious that people might get to the end and they've run out of fabric. Yeah, yeah. Also, you know? um, they'll be thinking, oh, she's sewing a straight edge onto a curve. Yeah. But it's fine. It goes. You it, just have to go with it. Yeah. And just take your time. You know, we, I don't, you, you can, well, maybe you weren't like this, John, but when I used to use a sewing machine, you kind of put your foot down, you feel like you've got to keep up with it. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I like that when I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've got to just take your time. Yeah, exactly. Take your time. As long as the bit you're sewing is flat, and because the, the gusset can, is, is waving and everything up, at, up next to yeah, it, but that's fine. Matter. As long as the two bits, that, where you're sewing the two bits of fabric together are flat, you'll yeah. be absolutely fine. And you only have to go around, like, like Debbie's doing, go around a, a few stitches, stop, realign, go a few stitches, realign. You're only ever, I always think, like you've just said, you, you're only ever sewing about half an inch yeah, of two yeah. pieces of fabric, aren't mm. you? Yeah. So you kind of ignore the rest, as long as you're not trapping it underneath anywhere. Yeah. Um, and it does, yeah, just take your time. There's no um, time limit, is there, when you're sat in no, your, exactly. at your table at home? I, I really like, obviously, sewing 3D shapes because they come to life, don't they? Yes. You know, I, lo I love quilts and bags. Well, bags are 3D anyway, but yeah. I love all quilts and everything. But these are just, I love them because you really are giving it character, I think. Well, also, it's like when you're dressmaking and you start off with all those flat pieces yeah. and in the end you end up with a 3D tip that fits somebody's body. Yeah. You can go, oh, how did that yeah. happen? Yeah, and the fabric, well, you, I mean, you obviously see this in dressmaking. Mm. It just takes on a different life, doesn't totally. it? Totally, yeah. I love it. So, um, yeah, it's nice. Okay, I've got to tell you, there are five of these left, but 19 in baskets. Just so you know, is that the one you got in the graphics? Yeah, the ones you got in the graphics. There you go. <clears throat> So I'm coming round now to the beginning. So I'm going to sew, it's tricky that bit because you can't see it, but you can feel it with your fingers. So I've gone all the way round. Right. But you can feel where you are yes. because you can't obviously see it because you've got this bit. And that's what it looks like. So ideally your calico pieces will meet at each edge. Yeah. You know, well that one is outlook, but that's what I was going to say, it isn't a, science it doesn't have yeah. to be exact and you can see i've got plenty of seam allowance left mm -hmm. i'd rather have too much than not enough yeah definitely because you'd have to start again and before you go in i would just go round and check that i haven't yeah. made a pin tuck or anything i'm not yes. pin tuck, but tucked any of the fabric or anything yeah. like that 
so you can just give it a push push the seams out and then you can just yeah check. just have a check uh, good morning debbie and john looking fabulous today now she talked to me or Is you that me uh lots of flirting i'll see you at festival quilts lots of kerry that's kerry living in loveliness oh that's nice i yeah. think that's kerry living in loveliness anyway. i never see you never see anyone do you apart no. from at the we're too busy too busy you? just too busy okay and then i'm going to do exactly the same now i oh john hang on You've got a sniffy nose. nose. Is the it always does. Oh dear. Not, not always. It does when I'm. With me. Nervous. Oh, you're nervous. <laughs> Am I making you nervous? No, we are very close though, aren't we? No, don't no, go. No, no, no. No, it's John. Fine. No, it's oh, fine. Oh, John, don't go. Come back. No, I'm here now. Oh no. Oh. Keep have going. I, You'll be I fine. Have I offended you? Have I offended 25 you? in baskets now. 25 in baskets. There's still five left, but 25 in baskets. I'll come back in a minute. Hey, come back, because you've made me sad now. Sad, sniffy, good. Nervous. Nervous. <laughs> Tense, nervous, headache. Oh, the, remember that advert? Yeah. What, take Anadin. That's what it used to be. Tense, nervous, headache, take Anadin. There are so many people watching on Facebook Live today. It's incredible. Oh. It's gone very quiet, John, now. I don't like it. What's the matter? Well, I'm lonely now. Are you coming back? I'm here, I'm here, right behind you. Thanks. Anyway, to have a slurp of my ginger water. What's it, what have you done? Hang on, I'm just thinking, that looks, that looks way out there. Oh, it's not. Mm. It's just the way it looked. Uh, what a cute pincushion. I have a soft spot for caravans. Spent many happy time at a friend parents van in Wales. Oh, that's Kate. Did you get your prostatin, Kate? Uh, hi Debbie and John, would any of the pink cushions be suitable for a 12 year old to do? To do, to make, to make or to make it for? I think... There's only two well, of this one left. I think they're, they're, they're not difficult, are they? No. It's, it's basically just that they're 3D. They're yeah, 3D so feels... rather than saying just straight lines, they are saying 3D. So if they can sew, then yes, I, I'd say all of them. I'd, well, I'd say this one... What's the I'm matter? having a moment, John. It just looks wrong, but it's not, is it? No. Go on. Right, put the aqua William Morris in now because the blue aqua. Uh, the aqua, what, well, the aqua one? Right, the aqua one, there are nine left, but 15 in baskets. Um, well, I think it's what, I don't think it's about age, do you? I no, think, no, no, I no. Think I think Abigail... this will be the easiest one to make. I think the caravan yeah. out of all, the, out of all of them is the easiest so. one to yeah. make. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But have a go, I think. Because. It's like you say, it's just the gusset and two pieces of... And it's nice and fun, isn't it? Putting all the applique pieces yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, but know, it is, it's, it's more than just a, just straight stitching pieces together. You have got to do curves and straights. And so it's a good challenging, pe a good challenging yeah. one to do for a, for a youngster, I'd say. It's challenging me right now. To be yeah. Fair. I've only made about 100. Well, there's about that many around the set today, aren't there? <laughs> I just brought them all in. It's like a caravan park around yeah. here. You see now, I've got loads of people I know, like Lowe, they've, they've bought uh, motorhomes. Yeah. I oh, drove past, them. there's a motorhome um, specialist on the way home from here, and they had the prices in oh, the windows. Ridiculous, aren't they? Oh my, it's like a, it's buying a small house. Yeah, but they are like a small house. Yeah. They're, you know, they are, but I know what you mean, they, yeah. they are. My little Susie was, was... I did think about her yesterday because I think it was this time last year. So, so Susie's a, a, a motorhome, <laughs> by the way. My little... She was... So she's only a camper van, really, yeah. I would call her. She's only tiny. Um, and it was about this time last year when I last came that I was in her. God, came overnight. that's frightening. She wasn't stopping at the Abbey then. No. Gone up in the world. Right. So, check that you're happy with all the seams from the inside. Yeah. Because that one, look, I've missed a bit. That's where I stopped. That's where you were panicking. I was thinking, oh, that's not gone right. So, yeah, you just go back over it. If you think, oh, I've missed something, doesn't matter, does it? And then we're going to turn it out. Okay. Da, da, da. Don't like the lens, do you? No. Turn it out. Look like an animal there, wouldn't you? Like a snake's head. Like like it was a bit strange, eyes. wasn't it? So I'm just again che checking those seams. So did you have you stitched your wheels on in real life? You have, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I did all that while we were. Yeah. I think you were showing us your calendar. Oh, okay. <laughs> Say that again. Oh, to make for a 12-year-old, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I'd go for the caravan. 
one thing I haven't done on this demo, yeah. before you sew your sides together, just you can embroider on the, uh, I did that by hand, Right. the bunting string. Yeah. But you could just sew that on if you like. You know, you when I was do, doing You could do the, it now. You don't, I mean, you, what do you mean? You could, you, it's best to do it when it's flat, but you could still just well, do it now. you could do it now. Yeah, yeah, if we've yeah. got time. No, 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 no. I didn't mean you could do it oh, now. Oh, you I could meant do it. one could do it now. If you've sewn one it up, think, oh, I haven't done the bunting. You can just pop it's not it the end on. Of the world. Hi, both. Are these suitable for hand sewing? I have a love hate relationship with my sewing sheet. Thank you from Claire and Wiltshire. Definitely. Definitely suitable. Yeah. Especially because of those curved edges. You've got a bit more control, I think, haven't you, when you're doing yeah. it by hand. Okay, someone else wants to know what your angel policy is. Um, you can make them, sell them, so please don't reproduce the pattern, No. because obviously that's mine. Um, but yeah, if you can make them, sell them, sell them for yourself, sell them for charity, absolutely don't, don't mind Brilliant. at all. But if you're John Lewis's and you want to make 10,000 of them, then please give her a call. Yeah, if, if, if John Lewis want them, for, yeah. then that'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't it just? How does that work then? I don't know. Let's give them a ring. <laughs> uh, you'd be in the Oxford Street store demonstrating it, wouldn't you? Can what? you sort it out for me, John? What? Can you sort it out? For? Give him a ring. Yeah, I'll give him. I'll give him. Will a call. you? Yeah. Um, We're in London. Means next you week, can't come Dave. here though. Can't I do both. No. I can do both. I can do anything, John. <laughs> I That's how I heard. <laughs> what was the, what were you saying? Four of the aqua left now, and seventeen in baskets. We could have a nice weekend down there today. The what, what? Well, you could be take your books, sign your books. And oh things. yeah, 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 yeah. And then I can be demonstrating. I'm a bestseller on Amazon now. I know I'll you, you know. are. I know. I'm one of your biggest fans. Oh. I wouldn't say the biggest because I think people are probably ringing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Excuse me, Debbie. So. Right. This is when. So I yeah. filled it with the toy filling. Yeah. And this is where I would not. I'm not going to bother now. Yeah. I would press it all. Right. So that it's nice and sharp, and but you can just. When do you put your decaville in or your cardboard in? So you'd put that in in a second. Oh, okay, sorry. So, Shut yeah. up, John. No, it's all right, John, because I would have forgotten. Mm. So that's all nice and in position, because you want it to be nice and firm. Yeah. But not, Over you know, stuff, you don't yeah. want it bouncing around as such. And then get your. I'm going to use this. Look, it's not going to work, is it? I've not got any. No, we don't want to cut into that decaville. But imagine this was Decaville or card. I've got card. Did the card come up, Kat? Don't worry. Oh, okay. And then imagine that's your piece of card. You can see I've just roughly cut it. Yeah. That goes in the bottom. Cut. So card, Decaville. It, again, it tells you in the pattern. And then that just gives it a bit of firmness on the base. I've got some card here. Uh, 180 grams, apparently. Is that... Uh, RUC 104, it's EPP card, you could use that oh, for that, Oh, yeah, that. 180, yeah. Um, yeah, like GSM, isn't it? Is the weight it of it, yeah. yeah. So, there but, it is, but, but you, And then you can see where I've got this extra, which yeah. is for the seam allowance that I've talked about. Push that in. Make sure you're happy with it. Although, like you said, John, you could, if you wanted to sew anything on, you could. Yeah. We haven't stuck the, we haven't done the bunting yet. That's no. the last thing we're going to do. Oh, okay. And then close your seam allowance. Up. You could, these glue pens, I think they're brilliant because you could just pop a bit of glue on there and then that holds it. So Not forever. You can't no, just no, use no. the glue pen. No, no, no. Yeah. Only temporary, but it does just hold it whilst you're sewing it in together. And then hand sew this closed. So again, you could make this a decorative yeah. stitch. I'm just thinking, uh, the instruction on their own there are 9 99 <coughs> if you're a member of a caravan club, you could make the, and you don't mind people saying that, you could make ones to order. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if, if the person next door's got a pink yes. and yellow one, you could get pink and yellow yeah. sash, sash out. Or if you've got, a, like, a green and white one, like we used to have in Prostatian when I was younger and everything. Yeah, you could make them exactly, like, say, t to match someone's caravan. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could have your own little hustle, couldn't you? Side Custom hustle. caravan club. Yeah, yeah. custom. Oh yeah. So uh, buy the buy the uh, buy the pattern on its own. They're nine ninety nine, and then you get endless amounts yeah. of oh, I think possibilities. That, I'd love that. I'd, I think it'd be great if everybody was. Maybe you should put it on your website. Maybe say I will make your customised caravan. What me make it? Yeah. No, no. She, don't ring her. Don't ring her. She doesn't want to do it. No, I'd rather not, John. That's all right. I've got time. I mean, I'd love to make. That can make you your next million. Do you reckon? Me next. Yeah. To me first. No, I mean, I think it'd be good for somebody to do it who's 
Yeah, 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 yeah. But passionate about it, yeah. for sure. Oh, she's not passionate about caravans. Not now, I've not got my little Susie. Aww. There you go. So I've just hand stitched that. Yeah. So then just give it a push and a shove. Yeah, because it looks like a hobby sofa at the moment, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> it feels like one as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you can you get the gist. Yeah, got the you? gist. Lovely. And then with your bunting pieces, I don't really want them in. Um, Have you got another colour? Because I can give you. Oh, Let's, you got blue. I've got. Shall I do them in blue? It'll be a bit royal, then, won't it? Yeah. So then well, I'm sure the royal family must have a caravan. <laughs> Do you reckon? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have a royal yacht. They could have a royal caravan, yeah, couldn't they? Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? I've been round the royal yacht, you know. Oh, no. Yeah. It's what, up in, cleaning um, it? <laughs> <laughs> it's up in Edinburgh, isn't it? Have you been? No. I had the weekend there, you know, oh, on the so. yacht. Uh. No, I did <laughs> Um Yeah, I've been round it. It's really nice. Oh. So now I'm just cutting the bunting. All right. So, you, sorry, I'm just going ahead and doing yeah, that. Yeah, notice. I? So you cut a strip. So on the pattern... There is an actual pattern piece of a oh, triangle, crikey. if you're not sure. Yeah. I just cut a strip, it's about a quarter of an inch width. Yeah. And then I'm just... Done the other end. I've done the other end. So you were watching. Yeah. And then I just snip them like that. Go you don't ahead. use much, you only need six. You li we need 18, John. Oh, do you? You need 18, because you've got six on each side and then three on each end. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what I've put in the pattern, 18. Yeah. So I hope I've not counted wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then... No, that's right. I'm going, I'm going to just use my glue pen. Yeah, yeah. But how do you, watch but it? How do you put them on normally? Then? I would stitch would, them? I would use oh, per, proper, per, glue. proper glue. Proper fabric glue. Shall I use that now? Do whatever you want. Thanks, John. You've got time. You've got ten I've minutes. Got yeah, I've got ages, haven't we? And I've made practically made a whole caravan. Yeah. So when you use this Loads glue... Loads in basket, she needs to check out, check out, check out. When you use this glue, I find it a little bit... Um, what? Well, it can get everywhere. Yeah. It's a bit sticky, which is just a good job, really. Because well, it's glue. That's the idea. Yeah, yeah. Imagine you've got your lines. So when you do your lines, I've not sewn mine on. I'm going to move that out of the way. Yeah. Just draw them on, your bunting lines, with your friction, friction pen. pen. Imagine they're sewn on and then just get your little piece of bunting and you can see I've deliberately put that glue in a line so that you then just grab a little bit uh, and pop it on because hasn't otherwise... Hasn't helped you painted your nails the same colour as your bunting. I know, didn't, didn't see that, did, didn't plan that. Can you see? And that really helps. So if you just put it on like a line of glue. Yeah. And then this glue is so strong. Yeah. It's lovely, isn't it's it? Bad, yeah. <laughs> Not that we'd encourage No, you but my mum, when I was pregnant, when my mum, no, no, not when, when I was pregnant. <laughs> when my mum was pregnant with me, we lived in the countryside, and she used to walk to the local shop and sniff all the paraffins. <laughs> so now I can't walk past a new, newly tarmacked road or some glue without going, oh. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And this, this glue is... Um, Try creosoting a fence, blow me. Not I'm sure we should be heaven. encouraging. No, I'm outside, I'm outside the fresh Yeah, air. oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah. And actually, oh, look. look. So that comes together real easy, but you could, uh, like I say, with this one, I, I just hand embroidered uh, like a whip stitch. Yeah. So that it, it is a bit more decorative, but you could do it with your machine. Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Shall we do the other side? Yeah. And then we're pretty much there. Good. And then I'll go through everything we've got. Is there, are there anything on any of the others that we need to watch out for? Like the elephant, is there, is there a bit that you think might be a little bit... Tricky, or if somebody buys it, you don't mind people getting in touch, saying, or a bit stuck on the no, trunk or something like not that. Not at do you? all. No. And what's the best way for them to contact you? To uh, on the back of the pattern. Yeah. I'm, I'm in on Facebook and Instagram. I've got my website. Oh, and loads it's all of ways. There. Oh, perfect. You, perfect. Yeah. You, I, you can't go far without no. seeing me. Oh, seriously. I take it with you to the festival of quilts. Going here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Because you've got a little table. You can sit pattern. there and do it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be brilliant. Yeah. yeah. So tell me, is there anything so on? The only thing with the elephant one. I mean, that, that sounded like it was a negative. It's not. No, 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 no. no. But the elephant's in two pieces. The, right. the front, it's like, it's a bit like the caravan yeah. one. Is there it's a gusset? Two, there's a gusset, right. yes. So with this, you will attach the ear, it's all in the pattern, yeah. to the headpiece. Right. So that's one piece, you attach the ear, then you attach the head to the body. Oh, okay, yeah, it's, it's not I difficult, mean. it's just oh, it's not a difficult. bit different. Just a bit, yeah, that's just the way I've done different, it. Different, yeah. And then, as you say, it's got the gusset that goes from underneath the trunk yeah. to 
He's a cool bomb at the back. Thank you. Yeah. So that's the, they're not they're not tricky. I don't no, think. No, 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 no. They just can be a bit fiddly because well, yes. obviously you, you know they're three D shapes and they're quite tiny, but that's what makes them cute. Has that one got piping on it? That one. This one's got piping. Okay, so, so that one is, definitely not for the twelve year old to begin is, with. This then. is quite fiddly. Yeah. And then in the middle, you can see it's got the inside of a loo roll. So you take the loo roll, cut it. The measurements are all in the pattern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you line it. Yeah. And then that is what you can then. If I you suppose wanted. if you made a big one, you could use like um, kitchen roll holder. Yes. Yeah. Or the exactly. inside of your bonder web or something yeah, like that. Yeah, anything like that is perfect. And that, and that just also gives it its structure. That's why I put like this has got card in the bottom yeah, as well, yeah. and it's got card in the top of the um, spout because it just gives it that bit of structure. Because then they're they're more substantial. Yeah, brilliant. You don't want it to be flopping around. No, and same on that then. Same on this one. Oh, so right, this, talk, talk to me about the box at the bottom. Yeah, so this box at the bottom, in the pattern, you get, it's called a net, I think, isn't it? Um, you know, the net of a box. That's what it's called. Is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. know that. So it's called a net. So it's like, not a net, as in Catching a net. Catching fish or, or a lady. Or a lady who lives next door. It's got the net, which is the bottom, the side, the top, the side. Right. And then the and two just, side yeah. pieces. So you cut it out and then you fold it all. Oh, Blue okay. Peter style. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah? I can't, you won't remember this. On the back of Kellogg's cornflakes is they used to have make animal faces and you just cut it out and it was all folding yeah, here, fold down a bit exactly. of glue and suddenly it's, it's a 3D yeah, thing. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So if you make it like that, then it's all the right, everything, all my patterns, especially these little ones, are true to size. I don't oh, like yeah, you. I'm just doing it like that. I don't yeah. want you to have to, you know, get a, go to the photocopier and enlarge it. Yeah. All true to size. So you make the box. Yeah. And then you wrap it. You wrap the fabric round the box. Use your glue pen just yeah. to temporary stick it. Fold all the fabric round. Then you fold the box. Score the card. Fold it up. And then you just hand sew round the, the edge. edge. And then how do you attach this bit to that? And then, then this bit goes on to you make you make your sewing machine piece yeah. with the gusset, and then you just again use that. Oh, the strong glue. The strong. Don't throw it. I didn't no. know my own strength. That strong glue. Brilliant. That, that will stick anything to anything, and then that just sticks on there. And Fantastic. then to cover up your glue line, you yeah. can just put Pop again. I just use glue and put the yeah. ribbon around and the tape measure ribbon. Lovely. That gets stuck on the end, but I do put a little bit of, I sew it, yeah, so yeah, it yeah, looks yeah. sewn, glue it on, you get the spool in your kit. Mm -hmm. I'll go uh, through all no, that you, now. Well, you, you, you get the spool with the pattern, don't you? Mm. And then I just put some cotton around it so it looks real. Um, cotton real. Cotton real. See what uh, we did there. Right, I'll go through that in a minute, but I need to tell you as well, Debbie's back in an hour where she's doing her um, EPP Hexi sewing organizer right but last time it was on sold out in minutes and i know it's going really well already on pre-order so in the break I, i'm not going for it. i'm going to recap this out but in the break go and put yours on pre-order i'll see you in an hour's time you right? will thank you hope you're not so nervous next time just look at that giggling away right so let's go through what's left shall we so let's go through the caravan a pin cushion first instructions on their own which is this here there we go Instructions on their own, complete with template and placement guide. Everything you need there for £9.99. £9.99. Right, yeah. Then we have now, are there any of the William Morris Strawberry Thief left? Oh, my, uh, my camera's died, I'm afraid. That's the one. Oh, this is Aqua. This is Aqua um, Strawberry Thief. There's four left, but how many in baskets? How many? 29 in baskets. 29 in baskets. You need to be... Ch check out, check out, check out. Cat's on, thank you. Right, then I've got a blue floral, navy floral, with your calico. Beautiful. Jean's loving the pin cushions. Nine of those left. That's all nine of those left. And we have the Liberty Wiltshire Shadow Red and Cream. <clears throat> this one's very, very popular, this one. Well done. Make sure you check out on that one. Then, now did this one go? This is one the sample was made out of. The big William Morris with the blue. 
that one's sold out that one's sold out right so i've done that 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 and that now let me move on to the elephante elephant instructions on their own 9.99 there are your elephant instructions on your own that'll make one of these then i've got elephant in they called it green it's william morris um minerals 13.99 you get the pattern and the fat quarter there love loads of that one in baskets check out check out check out then we've got the gray dot so you get the instructions again plus the fat quarter beautiful then we've got the uh, sewing machine pin cushion pattern only but with the pattern you also get the little button at the end and the spool reel for the top that comes as part of it for 9.99 very popular then i've got the instructions for the watering can pin, pin cushion now i would say if you're going to make a set series on leave this one till the end because this one unless unless you're prolific at doing your, um, little things with piping and things because i'm not saying it's difficult and i'm not saying it's impossible but i wouldn't give it to my 12 year old if she's she or he are just starting their sewing journey that's all beautiful right now of course you also need uh interfacing lightweight interfacing there you go 2.99 that's the lightweight now the felts last time i had these felts they completely utterly sold out in minutes very very popular today 17.49 you get 45 pieces in there 45 pieces all those different colors beautiful and then last but not least you're gonna need toy stuffing for all of them now this is the normal size toy stuffing they've just put it in a smaller bag You've still got your, uh, yeah, it used to be a plastic bottle, yeah. Uh, it's still the same weight, 200 grams. I was just looking where it says it. Oh, there it is, in the tiniest writing at the bottom now. 200 grams, 4.99. Right, so they'll be back in an hour, but don't go anywhere. Next, I've got Nicola up, and we're going to be doing children's T-shirts and dresses and an adult top. We'll see you back here in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, 
different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests, and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Right, before I start, Amelia says, Morning John, I've reached retirement age today, 66. I think I've got to go old, older than that, haven't I? I'm an officially an old age pensioner or senior citizen. Oh, Amelia. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you love it. Everyone I know that's retired said they don't know how they fitted their job in while they were while they um before they retired or anything. So good, good luck and and hope it all goes well. Right, Nicola's here. Hello, Nicola. Hi, John. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good. Right now, I'm going to go through everything that's for sale because I've got t-shirts, dresses, and adult tops in this. So I'm going to go through all the bundles right at the beginning, and then we'll come over and we'll do a, a sewing demonstration and things like that. So. What I've got first, what do, to, what do you want to do first then, Ben? Right. Right, okay. Now, in this pattern, I haven't got a picture of it here. I haven't got a pattern here. But in the pattern, you've got a pattern for a T-shirt. Voila. And you also get a pattern for the dress. Oh, we're a bit tall, isn't it? There you go. Pattern for the dress. There you go. In the same pattern, you get both of them. So you can make the T-shirt... Uh, I don't want to be accused of being gender what's it. You get a t-shirt that you can make for little boys and little girls. You make a dress that you can make for little girls. I'm going to say little boys as well in case you want that because I'm just being politically correct and everything. But it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Now it's a bundle of the pattern plus the fabrics I'm going to show you now. So the first one, the first one is this one here which is your sailing dinosaurs. Now I've got it two, <coughs> excuse me, two sizes available. We've got newborn to seven. Well, that's a, that's a big range. <laughs> newborn to seven years, not seven months. Newborn, so I'm gonna put newborn, first of all, newborn to seven pattern plus this fabric. Now, like 18 pounds, 80 pounds. Now there's enough fabric in here to make the T-shirt, right? So that is enough there to make your T-shirt. Now you will get also the um, contrast fabric as well for the cuffs and the neckline as well. So what you're buying here is you're buying the pattern. Oh, there, there's the image there, look. 
So what you're buying here is the pattern which has got the dress and the t-shirt in it, but you've got the fabric enough to make a t-shirt up to age seven. Up to age seven. But the pattern goes new born to seven. Oh, crack, there's only four left already. Four left. Four left of those already. So that is the t-shirt for up to age seven fabric and you get the contrast fabric and you get the pattern as well. Now, the, the pattern comes printed. The pattern will be printed in your kit. So just so you know, so that's that one for 18 pounds. Now then you've got the pattern forever for the, for the, for the t-shirt and for the dress, remember? Right, then the next t-shirt we've got, eight to 12. Size 8 to 12, so it's the same fabric, you get more fabric obviously. 8 to 12 to make the t-shirt, you'll get the contrast fabric and you'll get the pattern for the t-shirt and the dress. 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Beautiful, so that's pattern and fabric for 8 to 12. Right, we're going to move on to the next one now. Dinosaurs on navy. Right, here we go, this is gorgeous. So again, we've got the pattern up to age seven. There you go. There's only three of these left already. Three of these left. So that's a newborn up to seven. So you get the pattern for the t-shirt and the dress, but this is enough fabric to make the t-shirt with. And do we know what color contrast you get? Or will it just be random? Yeah, we'll choose something. Choose something to go with it for your collars and your cuffs. Love that fabric. Oh, four in baskets, that's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. You do need to check out. You do, oh, now, I've also got that then in the larger size. Me folding it away. So that one is for eight, ages 8 to 12. Remember, you get the dress pattern and the T-shirt pattern. This is enough to make the T-shirt ages 8 to 12 in that one. You love that fabric. That'd be very lovely, yeah? Now I'm moving on to robots. Oh, message. Lovely to see waves and wild patterns. I've just made a shirt. Great instructions from Jenny in County Tipperary. Sorry, I didn't even say that. Wa waves and wild are the name of the, the, yes. the, the people who've designed this. Uh, who are they then? They're an Australian company. And oh, wow. They do quite a wide range across um, children's wear and adult wear. And it's all PDF patterns, but they give you the um, prints, co copy pr copy shop print ready as well as print at home copies oh so, brilliant brilliant so, yeah. but you're don't worry you get an actual copy in yours yes. you get the actual copy <laughs> in yours this is robots so again this is uh, up to the age seven up to age seven uh, enough to make a t-shirt but in the pattern you will i know i'm repeating myself but i just want everyone to know you do get the pattern for the dress and the t-shirt in the pattern that one's 18 pounds robots then i've got the next size up in robots you get the pattern, remember, for the dress and the t-shirt. Enough fabric to make eight to 12 year old t-shirt, 25 pounds. I know, nice, aren't they? Lovely fabrics. Lovely, that's that one. And then I've got Sea Life. So again, up to the age seven, you get the pattern for the dress and the t-shirt. But this is enough to make a t-shirt up to age seven from newborn remember so how does it go newborn one There's, two um, three yeah i think it goes newborn to three months three to six six to twelve twelve to eighteen and then it's two three four. Oh wow so but, um yeah we're making sure that you're buying just the amount of fabric you need to make so you're not buying for a 12 year old and wanting yeah, to make yeah a exactly exactly uh 18 pounds 18 pounds morning christine uh, right, and so now I've got that in the 8 to 12. This is the last of the t-shirt bundles. I've got to move on to the dress in a minute. There we go, graphics coming in there, 8 to 12. Beautiful. Dinosaurs in navy. For the small kit, there's only one left. There's only one left. I'll go through it all again afterwards for you. Now same pattern you get the same pattern let me just see if i could do this here. there we go mm -hmm. you get the same pattern right so it's got the t-shirt and the and the dress in it however these are enough fabric in the bundle to make the dress pink sloth comes first so this is the smaller size again so 
this oh now this is different this is for baby to age three 25 pounds we should make two of these for Vix's little kiddie, shouldn't we? Maybe one sloth in the pink and one sloth in the green. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's newborn to three. Pattern for the t-shirt plus the dress and the fabric, 25 pounds. Then the next size up in the pink sloth. Right, so this one is age four to 11. Ages four to 11. So again, you get the pattern for both the t-shirt and the dress. You get enough fabric to make up to the age 11, plus, yeah, plus the pattern. Three left, five in baskets. Three left, five in baskets. What are these fabrics? What are they? They're um? cotton jerseys. So they're 95% cotton and 5% elastane. Perfect. Yeah, so they're nice against little one's skin. Yeah. Uh, now I've got tigers on pink. Is that right? Is it pink? Or lilac? Lilac, lilac lavender we'll get there eventually <laughs> right so now this one here is your pattern and your fabric for just age three no newborn to age three newborn to three that's right newborn to three and b means newborn doesn't yes. it yes yeah we, we don't, we, this morning we're like oh <laughs> so that's for that one that there's enough fabric there for the there's nothing to stop you making the t-shirt out of that you've got the fabric there to make the t-shirt instead of the dress if you don't want the dress and then you have some fabric left to do some hair scrunchies or mm -hmm. little things like that. Beautiful. Then we've also got the tigers on lilac, lavender, pink, whatever it's called, for the bigger size. But you get the pattern as well, don't forget. You do get the pattern. 4 to 11, lavender. Beautiful. Then I've got dolphins. Oh. That's cute, isn't it? <laughs> so now this is age uh, newborn to three in the dolphins, plus the pattern. 25 pounds. Then we've got the dolphins in the bigger size. Older size, four to 11, four to 11. Plus the pattern, remember, just the pattern and the fabric. Then I've got rainbows. Now these look like caveman rainbows, these, for some reason, I don't know why. Reminds me of like the flintstone -y sort of thing. There you go. So this one, you get the fabric for newborn to age three. I think it, like, it's a rainbow, but I see it as an entrance to a very grand cave <laughs> for some reason. But it's like kind of leopard print rainbow, isn't it? So that's ages newborn to three. There's only two of those left. Two of those left now. Uh oh. And then we've got the bigger size, the older size. Four to eleven. Gorgeous. Three of those left. Then I've got sloths on. Now, have we called it blue or green? Blue. Now, is there anywhere, because we're not demoing this today, is there anywhere people can go to watch a demo of this being made? I'm not 100% sure. I know Waves and Wild have produced a lot of um, demos, so I would have to double check. Have to have a look, yeah, double yeah. check. Uh, newborn to three. Newborn to three. Beautiful. Then I've also got that one in the older sizes. Oh. Four to 11. I'm just going to swap mannequins. Whoops. I'll just <laughs> come and swap that out in a minute. <laughs> the leg fell off. Right, so that's all the children's stuff. Now we're going to adults, which is the one we are doing the demo on. So now, so this is what you'll get. You get so, I need to show you this on the children's one, but we couldn't get it printed up in time. This is what you get. Oh, hang on. 
This is what you get when you, yours will be printed up for you, won't it? You don't need to print it up. It's called the Genoviva top. Sizes extra, extra small to 7XL. I'll, show you, I'll tell you the sizes in a second, right? So you get all of this, all of this, all of this. This is all your instructions and your cutting lists and everything like that. And then you also get all your patterns in all the different sizes from extra, extra small to 7XL. So you get all of that in there anyway. Right, so which color are we doing first? I've got five different colorways. Which one's Hawaiian? Yeah, I've oh, got it's two the top blues. one. It's it, the blue. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one, like a peacock here. So what's this fabric they're getting? So it's a viscose. Viscose fabric. Oh, no, does it come in different size range, so sizes? Right, I'll need to tell you then which size you need. Extra, extra small bundle. Two medium. Right, here you go. If I show you here, extra, extra small is a 30 bust all the way up to a medium which is a 38 inch bust there you go so this this bundle here you get the pattern plus enough fabric to make up to the medium which is a 38 inch bust beautiful now we haven't even seen the top if you have a look here it's like a lady's top it's got now what did you call these with these sleeves? Butterfly, sleeves. butterfly sleeves on hide a multitude of sins because every lady hates yes. well not every lady most ladies hate that bit of their arms don't they do you know what I mean lovely dark detailing here and a really lovely fall to it as well nicola's what you're wearing this as well yes. aren't you nicola's wearing it as well yes she is so it comes in the cropped version. That's in this colour, isn't it? Yes. Oh, that now one. it's two versions. Sorry, it's two so versions. you can choose between a cropped length, which right. is what I'm wearing. Um, well, I might use coming to the middle in a minute. <laughs> and the longer length, which is on... Um, on the mannequin. Back. Okay, brilliant. Right. But still, there's enough fabric there to do up to the medium, yes. longer yes. length. Right. So that's that one. Now this one. This one goes from... Uh, uh, 38 inch bust through to a 57 inch bust is this bundle for 38 pounds you get the fabric and the instructions and the pattern obviously and that color is called Hawaiian right then which color are you going to go to next right do the ochre now the only ochre I've got is what's in pieces on the table over there so if you want ochre in the up to a medium there you go you can see it from the slide there you'll be seeing that one being made that's the one you're going to be seeing being made so that's the ochre one up to a medium we also have the ochre one now for some reason oh no i got it wrong it goes up to a 60 inch bust it's my fault it goes up to a 60 inch bust the 7xl is a 60 inch bust so if you want to make the 38 to 60 inch bust size, which is large due to 7XL, then you need this bundle here in the ochre. Next color. Wild Rose, which will be this one here. Right, so again, if you want that from the extra, extra small to the medium up to a 38 inch bust. And you can make either length out of that because you get the pattern for both 30 pounds now we also have the wild rose in the 38 to 60 inch bust there you go wild rose very very popular okay next midnight which will be the navy so the navy, extra small, extra, extra small to medium is 30 pounds. That goes up to a 38 inch bust. You can make it short or long. Okay. And then we bring in the next size, which is the large to seven XL. 38 pounds. What do you want to wear? Oh lovely then i love this it's like um khaki olive i don't know what we call it what color is it khaki 
So this is khaki up to a 38. This is extra, extra small to the medium, which is 38 inch bust. And then we also have that khaki in the large to 7XL. 38 pounds. Right, before we make one, do you mind just coming to between the two tables, Kat? I'll just need a shot of the top, Nicholas Top, because you're wearing the what they call the crop. Yeah. That's this is the crop one. Do you see the length there? And then the, oh, here we okay. go, mannequin. <laughs> you see? It is long. It is. It is. Oh, there you go. There's there's the the longer version there. Right. So you're going to show us how to make. The Genevieve top yes. in the ochre. Yes. Right, off we go then. Okay, so it's quite a um, simple top to construct, but it's got some really lovely added detail. And it comes in um, two main pieces. You've got your front and your back, and you've got your two sleeve um, pieces, which I'll come on to in just a moment. So the top itself, it's got this detail here. It's, it's less of a dart, it's actually more of a pleat and it creates a bit of shape and body to the front of the top, but they're also in the back. Right. So I have constructed them for the top, for the front of the top already, but I'm gonna show you how they go together for the back piece. Right. So I'll come on to that one in just a second. But when you cut it out, you'll see these shapes. Oh, okay. have already been cut into. Right. Um, slightly different from how you'd expect to see a dart. So this is all part of the pattern piece. You have to cut round it. Right. So we're gonna sew those together, but before we do that, I'm just gonna quickly stay stitch the neckline. Okay. So um, because this is such a delicate fabric, and there's quite a bit of construction involved with facing, we stay stitch within the seam allowance, first of all, just to make sure that we don't um, um, pull the garment out of shape. Yep, okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly run a stitch within the seam allowance. Forgot about the standing up sewing. <laughs> <laughs> so I just go from one edge to the centre and then one edge to the centre. Are you going all the way around in one go then? No, I'm going from the edge inwards. Yeah. I think I just missed the centre but Okay, so I've stay stitched within the seam allowance. So now I've got my, I think it's the right side up, it's very difficult to tell yeah, with exactly, um, yeah. <laughs> one colour. I'm going to place these, um, the two sides of the V that's already cut out, right sides together. Uh -huh. And I'm going to sew that in place, but, hang on. So I'm just going to grab a couple of pins just to hold that together. I always dislike pinning viscose because the pins sometimes drop out. Yeah. <laughs> And what's the seam allowance? One centimetre. Okay. Okay. So I will start off with the back stitch. Oh. So there's a slight curve at the beginning and then it goes up to a straight line. Right. So that is like a big dart then coming down to begin with, is it? Yeah, but how it's pressed is what becomes different oh, okay. to the dart. Okay. So I'll do the second one as well and then we'll go on to the pressing. Yeah. So, so again, right sides together. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to quickly sew down that V. Were both the V's the same size? Um, yes. Okay. Might have been the way it was lying, it one looked bigger <laughs> than the other. Well, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> There's no noise upstairs. We've got a storeroom above us now. When they start unloading up there, our upstairs camera wobbles all oh over no. the place. It's just wobbling. <laughs> all right, you need this next. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to start off by just pressing the seam inwards, but I'm only going to press the top part of the seam from the wrong side of the fabric. Right. So what's really important with this particular... Oh, oh yeah, sorry, it's <laughs> lifting up the that. iron. So what's really important about this is that with a dart, you want to press it absolutely flat so right. that it just creates the shape over the bust. But for this particular one, we don't want to press the curve flat because it creates a bit of volume right. within the top. So I'm going to just press the top part of that seam 
It's all in the instructions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is in the instructions. It's quite interesting. Um, it's quite a nice added little feature. Yeah. So I'm going to do that with both sides. So you only press the, the bit that's sewn on the straight. As soon as it starts yes. going into a curve, you stop. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Lovely. And then I'm going to turn it to the front way up. Yeah. And as you can see, I've got a bit of shape here. Yeah. I'm not going to worry about flattening that because it will create a bit of an odd shape if we do. Yeah. But now I've done that, I'm just going to sew a little bit further down until I get to that detail there. So I'm. As you can see now, I've got a nice straight seam. Yeah. Just gonna press that one out a bit more without flattening the curve yeah, of, of the shape. Okay. I must get myself one of these irons. Okay. So now we've done that, we've got our two um, pleats sewn in together. We're just gonna top stitch um, close to the seam, but on the side that the seam allowance is pressed. Oh, okay. So just to hold that together and to stop it from moving about. Yeah. So I'm just gonna top stitch down the straight edge of that shape. at the camera because they think it might be the camera that's wobbling not the people upstairs oh okay <laughs> so you just top stitch down as far as you pressed yes yeah now how would you finish those seams off inside normally so normally i'd you can i well it's up to you i'd use an overlook yeah, yeah yeah i'm not going to finish the seams today but no, no, normally no, 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 that's what i was asking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you can either use a small zigzag, an overlocker, um, pinking shears is quite a popular one if you yep. haven't got anything like that. Um, yeah, but um, yeah, so you'd finish those before you before you press. Okay, yep. lovely. Okay, so there's my, oh, I just need to top stitch that down a little bit further, just for it to be equal. So I think it's about four or five inches you have to top uh -huh. stitch, so you, you would spend a little bit more time measuring than I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, there you go, I've stay stitched my neckline, I've created the two pleats, I've also done it on the front. Right. So we know it's the front because it's got a nice V. Right. Okay, so now we're going to um, sew the front to the back of the shoulder seams, mm -hmm. so we're going to go right sides together. And you stay stitched your V at the front as well, haven't you? Yes, yeah. yeah. In a here's one I made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to make sure I'm lining up my... Um, seams there so it looks nice and neat right and i'm going to pop a couple of pins in how did you find these uh, these people then this pattern company so i used to make the patterns myself when i had little when my children were a lot smaller oh, okay. they used to be called made by jack's mum and then they rebranded oh, to right, okay. waves and wild because jack grew up yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jack's now a man working in the city yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, yeah, so they rebranded to Waves and Wilds and I got in contact to see if I could resell their patterns and yeah, I just think they're quite fun. They've got um, yeah, quite a good selection of dresses for adults yeah. and dungarees, t-shirts for men. They've got bras and oh, wow. all sorts. Yeah. Ooh, oh. This is a relatively new pattern. And I just think for it's this. A very long pin. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it for the star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to sew those together. There's a lot of um, matching patterns, so you can get a dress for a little one and. Oh, what you mean, you mean adult and child? Yeah, they've created um, quite an interesting selection where you can dress up like your child if you so wish. Oh. <laughs> it's really cute. Unfortunately, my children don't wish to wear anything that I've made them anymore. So. <laughs> when I was growing up at school, there was a girl called Susan and she had, and you know the typical Annie look, she had bright red 
short curly hair like that and her mum was identical and they used to dress exactly the same <laughs> but the mum used to make the the child's dress is the same as hers rather than the other way around so it was like a mini me oh. so there's this like little seven-year-old going around like a chanel suit and things like <laughs> that she? yeah well that's cute okay so we've now created the body so i'm just going to press these seams Sorry. towards the back that's all right Um, Bruce says he, Bruce, a director who's having a baby, well, his wife's having a baby. Um, he says he's going to dress his baby just like he dresses, <laughs> right? But it's, isn't it a little girl? It's a little girl, and Bruce, but not that way. He's just going to wear a baby grow to work every day. Uh, <laughs> okay. So I press the seams towards the back. Now. We're ready to apply. So, uh, try move the, you finish yes, the eye. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's no, fine. Okay, so it's starting to take shape. Yeah. Um, I've got some interfacing here, so some facing. I haven't interfaced it, you can interface it. Um, because it's such a floaty top, we haven't interfaced it. No, I suppose if you want to make it with a heavier fabric, I would do done, but not with the, not with this, I wouldn't no, interface it with this. No, it sits quite well, yeah, you're going to yeah. understitch anyway. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I've already sewn together the front and the back facing pieces uh -huh. at the shoulder seams. Now I'm going to attach them right sides together. So I'm going to start off with matching, just making sure I get it the right way around, that's the back. That's the front. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the shoulder seams. Right. And I'm going to lie the facing seams together and I'm just going to make sure that they're matching. There we go. So if you start off with the sh um, shoulder seams, you're going to end up um, with everything sort of sitting together. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like a good starting point. So that's over here. Is there a pattern piece for the facings or do we need to transfer it off the pattern piece for the front? No, the it's back? all there for you. A separate one. Yeah, good, it's yeah. all there. I hate it when they do that, when they go just cut a facing from it. Yeah. I'd much rather have a, a, a facing, yes. a, a pattern. Exactly. I would too. I know I'd probably panic. Oh, would you? Yeah. I think, well, no, because yeah, what you have to do is trace the neckline, then you have to trace two inches round from the neckline to create your own okay. pattern piece. I should try it. No, don't. No. If it's got the pattern in there, <laughs> if it's in the pattern, don't I know, worry. I do like an easier way to do things. Okay, so I'm now going to pin at the centre back. I don't know why I put my pin cushion on that arm. I'm left-handed. It's on the wrong one. Yeah. You're left-handed? Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd try it out on that arm. No, it doesn't work. No. Okay, so now I'm going to pin the, this is the centre front, so it's the V. Making sure that that's all evenly spaced, yes. It's not going to take long, is it, to put this uh, top together? It really together. doesn't. It doesn't take long. I mean, it's. I think it's great to have items in your dressmaking that you can quickly put together if you've got somewhere to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, if you suddenly invited out for the evening, you think, oh, I've got nothing yeah. to wear, you could run one up, couldn't exactly. you? Exactly. And this can be made in a variety of different fabrics as well. Yeah. We've gone with viscose because we love the floatiness. It's lovely and cool. It's natural fibre. It's great for this time of year. You can, if you want more structure, make it in a cotton or a cotton mm. poplin. Um, the sleeves and a poplin would become a bit more statement and less drapey. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you could really have some fun oh, trying yeah, different definitely, fabric yeah. types. And okay, I think that's enough pins. So I'm going to sew the facing to the neckline. I'm going to start at one of the shoulder seams, wherever that is, there it is. Yeah, we've sewn, I've sewn quite a lot with viscose this summer. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's becoming I've, more and more popular. Well, the thing is, think when viscose, when you first look at viscose, you think, oh, it's too, I, I can't sew this, it's too unstable. But for some reason, viscose seem to be better quality now and they don't do that awful yeah. slipping around that they used they really to do. They really don't. This yeah. is lovely to sew yeah. with. I mean, I think you can see it handles really well under the sewing yeah, machine. Yeah, exactly. And I haven't put an awful lot of pins in the neckline. No, so and you're standing up. And I'm standing and you're on telly. up. <laughs> yeah, all of that. <laughs> and I'm left-handed and everything, everything's yeah. the wrong way round. <laughs> oh, yeah, you should be over here, really. Oh. My foot's on the mat. I'm a bit wonky. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm coping. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I gave um, my friend a pattern challenge to make this at our craft night. Uh -huh. um, they were very kind and helped me with some samples. Oh, and yes. I can't tell anyone about the craft night because everyone would want to come because it's um, a fun night out we do every other week. But she cut the fabric and made the top right. um, within the two hours that um, we were there. And where it, and was lots of wine imbued while you yes, were there? Yes, we do have some Prosecco. And, and where in the country is it? You have to say who it is. Yeah, it's down in Polegate. Right. And um, it's hosted by my lovely friend Sarah. Right. And she's a police inspector, so oh. she has a very stressful, busy job. She's got little ones, so she loves to, every other week, host a craft night. Oh, that, and can you do anything there? Yeah, you can bring any craft at all. So um, sometimes um, my friend Emma will bring a sewing machine or I'll bring a sewing machine, but I'm trying to learn crochet. Oh, right. So it's an easier craft to do at craft night. Yes, <laughs> yeah, take one little bag with you, not the whole caboodle. But this week was all about helping me. Oh. <laughs> they were lovely. But yeah, they did really well. So my Yeah, but not everyone's going to be a sewer, are they? Well, no, they're not. And the, um, all the friends were mucking in with, like, cutting and... But my friend Sarah made the little girl's dress. Uh -huh. so I had a bit of a busy week last week. Yeah. And um, she made it on the standard sewing machine. So even though it's a stretch. Oh, yeah, yeah. She did she use a jersey needle? Just have a jersey needle? Yeah, she yeah. did. She had the rounded needle and a lightning stitch. And yeah. All within two hours. Brilliant. Whilst drinking Prosecco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so I've sewn that into place. And I'm just going to snip into the curve or this little point so that it's got a little bit of give when we turn it the right way. Okay. And obviously you would have finished this edge um, with however you finish your seam. Yeah, so you can either overlock it or turn it yeah, up. Yeah, it's a little bit visible that seam, that edge. Okay, so I'm going to press, oh, that line please. Yeah. So hang on, if you're left-handed, well, it's the best. I was just going to say, I'll move out the way if you need oh, to don't be able to side. You're right. Yeah, I'm quite good at <laughs> yeah. getting used to it being left handed. The worst was at uni when you sit on the tables and the table for writing's on the right side. And oh, yes, of you course. Have to go oh, yeah. I hadn't even thought about I that. I know, there's a lot. So I'm just going to try and press the seam up. If you've got a so an actual ironing board, you'd probably be best to do this at the end of. Yeah, I'd use yeah. your tailor's ham or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So I'm going to press the seam up towards the facing. Yeah. And then once that's all pressed up, we're going to understitch the mm -hmm. facing to the um, seam allowance. Yeah, that's the whole point is you can just put it down by everyone know, who brilliant. does dress making, but no, we all automatically put it up on its yeah. own because we're so used to having to do that. It's like a great little gadget. Mm. Very popular as well, we sell it's, thousands of those. Do you? Yeah. I would absolutely need to buy one. I'm forever putting my iron down and getting told off. Okay. I sort of that, I think that's the best I can okay do at the moment or we'll just try and get that side seam. last bit up yeah okay it's not bad <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm just going to under stitch that facing to the seam allowance and that just ensures that it's going to stop the seam allowance from curling out. Okay, so you're sewing on? I'm sewing the, I'm sewing the right side up. Right. And I'm under stitching close to that seam. Oh, so you're doing it from the seam allowance side, not from the facing side? Yes. Okay. And then I'm, yeah, just going to sew all the way around close to that um, seam. Original seam the original line, yeah. seam line, yeah. I suppose doing it this way means you definitely catch your seam allowance yes. because you can keep That's your eye on it I as you go it. around. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know my bobbin is um, oh, thread nicely. Colour. No, oh, no, it's not. It's the same colour. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I'm just going to manoeuvre my needle around. Nearly there. Fab. 
No rush. What's the most popular colour of the blouses? Rose, most yeah. popular so far, yeah. I really like that rose. Rose in the uh, larger of the two sizes. Oh. I think it's going to be flattering whatever shape you are, whatever size you are. It isn't is, it? that's what we love about top, it. Yeah. It's very inclusive and it creates just a lovely drape on the body yeah. and any size, any shape, it's just something that you know you can wear and feel comfortable in. And you can in. go out for a big dinner, big lunch. And there's loads of and space. And there's lots of room, no reason. No and my reason. skirt's elasticated, oh, so no. I've just sorted loads of room for eating. Do you need this back? Yes, please. I'm just going to quickly press that down. Now I've understitched it, I'm going to make sure my um, facing is lying nice and flat and then it won't keep popping up. What you can also do is you can, once you've pressed your facing under, is maybe just do a little line of stitching in the shoulder seam. Just to hold the face yeah. in place, yeah. Yeah, so you would just um, stitch within the ditch there just to hold it in place. But I think I'm just going to press it for yeah, now. Yeah. Do you want a tailor's ham? Do you have one? Yeah, of course I have. This cat's not around, is she? <laughs> no, 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 I think I'm not, I have to get it myself, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hang on, we're just looking now. Brilliant. Right, I'm opening the door, nobody speak. Oh, wonderful. There you go. I've got the ham and the sausage roll, any of the, either you of those, whichever's best for you. That. Thank you. Just make it a bit easier. It does. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got wonky hands though. Do you need to be on that side of the table? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've never thought of that before though. So I actually haven't got used to being left-handed. I do I'm quite ambidextrous. Right, so okay. because I am, I can never figure out the best way to do things. Right. Um, I'm learning to crochet with oh, the right-handed way. Of course, way. yeah, 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 yeah. So I've been to, uh, the lady who showed me at craft night um, showed me the right-handed way and I thought, well, I'll do that because then it'd be easier to follow YouTube t tutorials. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I do and I cut with my right hand. Right. That's the last little bit just here. Uh huh. Okay. There we go. So we've practically nearly got a top. Brilliant. <laughs> just the sleeve. You done with this for now? Yes, thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay, so right. that would all lie nice and flat, yeah. and you can obviously sew in those um, corners. Yeah. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is um, the sleeves are very circular and that's what creates this lovely butterfly effect. You can right. see you've got the curve here of the armhole and then you've got the straight line which attaches to the side seams. You're going to start off by hemming your sleeves. Right. I'm going to try and find a nice neat bit. <laughs> 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 okay, so you're going to do this as um, narrow as you can. It's about a quarter of an inch. I've gone a little bit over in my hurry. Right. Um, but you're going to fold over a quarter of an inch, fold over again by a quarter of an inch, and then stitch in place. Right, yeah. So that'll be a nice, neat um, hem on both of the outer edges of your sleeves. Right. Once you've done that, we are going to be ready to attach them. Have you got a right? Is there a right and a left? There is isn't on there. Oh, okay, brilliant. No makes it really simple yeah okay so I'm going to open out the bodice and get my sleeves make sure I've got my right sides facing and I'm going to match the curves right so I'm going to start on the edge of the sleeve I haven't marked you could oh, it really is matching it's not like putting no. a sleeve in at all then it's the no. same shape <laughs> it's the same shape I mean you can if you want to um, just find the center line oh yeah definitely do that but it's not like yeah. it's not like you've not got two different 
Like if you're putting in a normal sleeve, you've got two different curves yeah, going against so this is back. literally, you're matching it. Exactly the same curve oh, all wow. the way around. Oh, so that's a really good thing for people who hate doing sleeves. Yeah, it's a really straightforward um, way of putting it in. So I'm going to start with that centre notch on the centre, on the shoulder seam. Yeah. And then I'm going to work my way round. There's no notches on this pattern. Oh, okay. So, um, which is why I just created my own little one then yeah. on the sleeve. I well, suppose you need a notch, do you? Because it's exa exactly the same shape. Well, it's exactly, not going to matter. I know. So it's, I think it's really beginner friendly. Yeah. Oh no, t totally. The only thing, the only thing that I'd be frightened of as a beginner is using viscose. But mm. as we were saying, it's viscose has got so much better. And if it's, if you do think it starts slipping, just put your walking foot on, and that's going to help you even more. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't want to leave, Ooh, does they it? Okay. Get my nose a little bit. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just going to match to there. So that's just the edge of the armhole curve. And I'm just going to ease in between those pins. And it does, it moves nicely. There's some natural movement on the fabric. Yeah. So you can ease it in, and making sure it's. You could even make it in a, like a chiffon or an organza or something oh, yeah. like that. But you'd have to obviously wear a camisole underneath it or something. Mm. It'd be a really lovely, just coverall really. Or yeah. if you made it even longer, you can make it for the beach. Yeah. Put it over your swimsuits. Put it over your swimsuits. None of us That'd want to like walk in. You know, like if you're lying at the, lying and they think, oh, I really need to drink. You don't want to get up in no. your swimsuit and walk to go to the bar or whatever. You just throw it over the top. Absolutely. That's and it's very glamorous as well. Really glamorous. Again, it's just a one centimetre seam allowance. Mm -hmm. So, you're, you're, so you're, you're, you're just doing the armhole curve at the moment? Yeah. You're not stitching the straight bit underneath it? No, I'm going to do both the armhole curves first. Lovely. And then we'll go to the straight bit. So just making sure that's matched up. I've put less pins in so that I can ease it together as I sew. Yeah. But if you're less confident with that, just pop extra pins. Yeah. But you can see how easy this machine's dealing with it. It's not, you know, kind of, it's not floating out the no. way. It's not slipping and things like that. I think as well with um, trying different fabrics, it's literally just a case of going for it. If yeah. you've never oh, sewn yeah. with a viscose before, then, you know, what's the worst that can mm. happen? So machines come with unpickers for a reason. Exactly. <laughs> And so to classes, it's the first thing we were given when we went to art school. Really? It was just, here's your, um, here's your sewing machine, here's your own picker. Yeah. I've recently taught a learn to sew class at my warehouse. Uh -huh. um, and it's exactly the same. I gave them all the basic tools and the first one being an unpicker. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just quickly pop that last sleeve in, which is there. Okay, while you do this other sleeve, mm -hmm. I might just go and recap the bundles because yes. this is exactly the same exactly as you just saw, same. so that we don't have a, too much of a rush at the end. No. <laughs> so, in the lead, oh, Wild Rose still. I thought, um, what was Marie? Not Marine. What's the blue one? Catch it was catching up. Hawaiian with catching up. So the Genevieve top in the rose. That's this colour here. So the extra small, extra, extra small to medium, oh, I've lost the measurements in there, goes up to a 38 inch bust. Uh, and that's the fabric, includes the fabric and the pattern and all the instructions, 30 pounds. Then we've got the large to the 7XL, which goes from a 38 to a 60 inch bust. Um, Sharon, what type of fabric is suitable for this top? Oh, Sharon, we were just saying that the viscose, uh, cotton, a lawn, it would look lovely in a cotton lawn. Um, you could use a chiffon or an organza if you're making a kind of see-through evening one. Uh, I wouldn't go any heavier than a cotton. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, because the sleeves aren't going to work with anything right. but a cotton, are they? But as you say, if you use the cotton, the sleeves will be more, they won't be as uh, drapey. They'll be more of a statement sleeve. They'll still drape down, but they'll have more of a structure to them. So that's your rose. 
Then, which colour are we going on to next? Hawaiian next. That's this colour here. So again, if you want the double X S to the medium, up to a 38 inch bust. That's that one there, pattern and fabric. At 30 pounds. If you'd like the uh, 38 to 60 bust, then this is what you need in the Hawaiian blue. The Hawaiian ballroom, that was Heidi High, wasn't it? <laughs> Nobody need competition in the Hawaiian ballroom. <laughs> okay, that's that one. Colour next. Khaki next. So this one's, oh, oh, here we go. Uh, now it's funny, isn't it? The rows, uh, most, most of the ones that have sold are in the larger size. This one, exactly the same amount of the larger and the smaller size have gone. So that one there is your 38, uh, no, uh, up to 38 inch bust. And then we also have it in the 38 to 60 inch bust. Beautiful. Then I've got Midnight at the Oasis. You see, I'd call that Navy more than Midnight, personally. Uh, this one up to the 38 inch bust. Rich Navy, I'd call that. It's beautiful. The fabric feels gorgeous. You're going to love it when you get it. And then at 38 to 60 inch bust is that one. Then we have it in the ochre, or ochre as Port, uh, Sir Ben likes to call it. There you go, that's the uh, up to a 38 inch bust one. Loads in baskets, check out, check out, check out. And then last one is the ochre in the 38 to 60 inch bust. Right. Okay, so I've sewn both the sleeves in. Yeah. And you can see you've just got the that side seam of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. That's going to be, you can sew it in place or tack it in place because it's going to be enclosed in the side seam anyway when you sew that together. Right. I'll just, um, yes, yeah, so I've pinned one side. I'm just pinning the other side. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to turn up the stitch tack it in place. Okay. Cat Roy's here with the trolley. Okay, that's one. He's juggling with the door. God love him. Mm. So you just tack tacking these into place yeah yeah um it doesn't matter if you sew it or tack it but yeah. i thought i'd just turn the stitch up a bit quicker <laughs> yeah no 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 another shortcut oi we're on air roy do you mind flirting with cat <laughs> you're old enough to be our great great granddad you are <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's, he's kicked the easel on the way out. Oh, listen to him singing. Right, so we, t we stay stitched that yeah, into place. So that's all stay stitched into place. I'm just going to turn that down before I forget. Yeah. Okay, and now we're going to sew the side seams up. But to do this, we're going to tuck the sleeves in. Right. Um, so that they're sort of moved out the way. And we're going to lay the... My arms are too short. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all yeah so we're going to lay the front and the back on top of each other right sides together with your sleeves tucked in and out the way yeah and then we're going to match up the side seams the which side have also seams. got their bottom of the butterfly wing yeah. sleeve attached to them yeah yeah Out, 
What? I said, I don't know who cut this out as an inch out. Oh, no, blame the ladies. <laughs> sure, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I didn't sew that one. That one's not tacked in place. No, I'm going to... I haven't Just tacked it in it. place, but yeah. it's okay. There we go. So this is the longer version. And that one Maybe. matches. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, oh, well. Not that I've been rushing the last week or no, two. That's fine. Just, <laughs> just take your time. We've only got to sew this, haven't we? So we've only got a couple of minutes left. Okay. Yeah, that, ignore that clock. Oh, okay. Is it? We have to come off. We have to come off at fifty-seven or right. fifty-six, so um, so that we start the next hour on the top of the hour. So this is literally the last bit. Yeah. Oh. And then I can show you what the completed dress looks like. Yeah. Top. <laughs> yeah, top. A bit short for a dress. <laughs> this um. is like the pattern challenge on sewing bee. Ah. Uh? This is like the pattern challenge yeah. on sewing bee. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I think they, at the, what they, the amount they give the time they give them is rotten because it's, yeah. it's like the. You could make it in that if you were a top mach machinist specialist, you know what I mean? Not and then they pick apart the quality. Yeah. Right. Okay. So then you're going to hem. Do you do the hem the same as the sleeves, over and over? Yeah, yeah. Um, or if you're using an overlocker, you could just overlock it and turn it up yeah. once. Shall I hold it up? Yeah. So you can see, oh. we've got a very pretty. Gorgeous, actually, I'll tell you what I can do. <laughs> very quickly. Stick I'm it going on over the top of the rose one, but just to see, so you can see it on. Oh, now, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have done that. She's got very stubborn shoulders as this mannequin. There we go. Tuck the facing in, tuck the facing in. So your facing would be stitched in? Yes. Stitched in. There we go. Ignore the little rose one underneath. But there you go. Oh, and a facing sticking out there. There you go. All within an hour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I, I suppose you could make it longer if you wanted yeah. to because it's not a difficult one to do. Brilliant, right, so you're back in an hour, yes. Nicola, where you're doing applique. Yes. Applique project. Um, make sure you check out on these. Do you want me to go through any of the kiddies things or should we just uh, check on the check, check, check out because lots and lots of people have got them in their baskets. Uh, I've got to go now because Debbie's back making, oh, an a, a EPP sewing tools wrap. We'll see you in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, 
Then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker.
I've just got a couple of questions about the last one. Oh, well, one question. Melanie says, is the pattern available on its own? No, it wasn't, I'm afraid, Melanie. And um, would you say it's a beginner top? I definitely said it was a beginner top. The only reason I would go veer off the beginner top is sometimes when you first start, you don't want to use a, a floaty fabric like a viscose. So if you're going to buy it, uh, if you do get hold of the pattern, then um, um, I'd go with a cotton lawn or, or something like that. Right, Debbie's back. What have you been doing? Um, I've been having a cup of tea. Yeah. Having a sit down. Yeah. Looking online. Was there nobody to chat to in there? Oh, yeah, was I, was I was talking to Sandra. Oh, Sandra Santangle. Sandra Santangle. She's on cardboard today. Yeah. Yeah. So I was chatting with her. She was showing me a new quilt she's oh, got. Oh, lovely. So yeah, I've had a nice oh, time. Oh, very nice. Thank you. Right. Last time we did this, wasn't me. I wasn't on it. Sold out in minutes, the blue one. Sold out in minutes. I'll put it flat like that for you. Look. I'm just going to again. What are you eating? It can't be good. He has a flapjack every single day. Hey, Ben. Yeah. Wish I could get away with that. Yeah. Oh. Right. Well, yeah, but your thing is, I used to be as skinny as you. It's uh, soon it... Mm. Soon catches up yeah. with you, doesn't it, John? What? Catches up with us, doesn't does it? does indeed. Yeah, exactly. It was like um, Cat Next Door, produced Cat Next Door, eats so much sugar and so many sweets and so much rubbish food. Sure. Like, and I and just nothing of her, right? And I said, just wait, yeah, wait, you wait, catch time. up with you. Yeah. Mine was when I gave up smoking, which I was about 30, working with Julia Roberts, clang. Uh, and um, <laughs> I gave up smoking and I, st I used to say, oh, when I have a cig when I want a cigarette, I'll have a, ch a minstrel. Do they still make minstrels? Yeah. Oh, I used to love those. So it would be like, oh, I want a cigarette, oh, I'll have a minstrel. It got to the stage where it'd be like, I want a cigarette, oh, I'll eat a bag of minstrels. And I just went, <laughs> I went to eight, up to 18 stone, but I gave up smoking. So then you have to lose the weight from that anyway. Right, anyway, 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 look, 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 look. These are just the instructions on their own. Now, can I do the instructions on their own without the panel? Yes, she can. Obviously. Obviously yeah, can. Yes, she can. Sorry, yeah. These are the instructions on their own. Um, pattern for the front cover. Everything you need in there. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's all the fabrics that you need to buy for it if you're going to do your own. Um, also, it's EPP. Is uh, I'm sure you showed me a template earlier. Uh, yeah, it's on the, it's on the back there, isn't it? On that one you've got. In your oh, and this. <laughs> I've only taken this one out to look for it. There, there's <laughs> templates for the EP. Oh, it's little, little EPP. Half inch. Half inch. Half inch. Half inch EPP. So that's the pattern on its own. Right now, the blue one that we had before, and it's sold out. You will make this one from it. <laughs> Don't speak with your mouth full. $23.99. So you get your instructions, you get your template, and the hugest of panels. Look, 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 look. Oh, I love it. No wonder it's sold out. It's gorgeous. Look at that. All your different fabrics there. Even tells you what the different fabrics are for, look. So fabric five, fabric four, pin cushion, spine inner, LHS. What's an LHS? Left hand side. Left hand side. Pocket. How did I know that? Uh, mind you, I thought earlier that one lady messaged me saying she had uh, I've got completely the wrong illness. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so now, do I need anything else apart from the instructions and the panel? You need um, wadding. Wadding. And uh, Decaville all card. Okay, Decaville all card. So that's all you Velcro. say. You only have the fabric. Oh, all no, the fabric oh, is here. All the fabric. So you just need the stiffener, fabric really. Fabric is all on the panel. Everything you need. Brilliant. 20, it's just that the, the ladies and gentlemen say, I like to know what else I need to buy yeah. on top of it. And I like no, to give it as yeah, much. Yeah, you know. every, if you're buying the panel, everything you need is on there. Fabric and, and more, in fact. Yeah, you get, I was going to say. You get spare fabric, bit of spare. Loads got into baskets, loads and loads and loads of blue. I told you this one sold out in minutes last time. Absolutely sold out in minutes. Beautiful. So that's the blue one. I'll fold that one in a minute. Right. Then I've also got it in um, red currant. When I was little, we used to have red currant all the time. I don't know if we grew them in the in the garden, but we'd have uh, red currant, cu um, not curry. <laughs> Crumble, crumble, red currant jam. Oh, look, beautiful colours. There you go. This is the red, red currant version. I don't know. They still sell them. 
Do they sell red currants in, in the shops? Don't see them so much now, do you? No. no. Anyway, twenty three ninety nine. I was in one shop, one supermarket yesterday and they gave me the receipt. She went, oh, hang on, hang on, you've got a voucher. And I was like, oh, I think it's going to be £5 off £10. So she went, oh, she, she screwed it up and she threw it away. And I went, that was my voucher. She went, I don't think you like gherkins, do you? And I was like, well, I don't. But I think she, she'd already decided for me because it was at five, so much off gherkins. Off gherkins. I don't like gherkins. Mm. My dad loved gherkins, but not me. So that's your red currant version. Check out, check out, check out. Now, two new colours. Which colour? Sage first. So again, you get the instructions. This is your sage pan. You're going to love this. There you go. Beautiful. Gorgeous. 23.99. You get the panel and the instructions. Now, if you don't want to do EPP, can I make it without the EPP you panel? Can, you definitely can, yeah, because you get all the fabric anyway. Yeah. So you could either use one solid fabric or make a log cabin out oh, of it. Oh, or you, you could, could do, do a block. A you can make it as long block. as it's this, whatever size it's yeah, meant to it's be. Yeah, in the pattern. I've told you the size it needs to be, the finished So as long piece. as you make a block of that size, you could put anything on the front Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. That's so a really good idea. Because not everybody, I mean, I know everyone, lots of people love EPP, but like, some people like, I love it, but it's going to take me too long and yeah. I want the sewing roll for a, this weekend or something. Exactly. Yeah. So you could just do a block and put that on the front. Put your favourite yeah. block on the front. Yeah. Lovely. So this is your Sage version. Brand new, brand new, brand new. Twenty three ninety nine. Make sure you check out. So you get this, all, all the fabric you need, plus all the instructions. And again, the instructions are very thorough. And there's a photograph for every single section. She'd had her nails done specially. Look for the photos. Oh, had she? What colour are my nails? Red, dark red. Dark red. It's a while ago that was. Ah. Beautiful. What are you saying, Bruce? Bruce is muttering. Beautiful. That's the sage one. I'll fold that up in a second. Then, now, let's have a look at this one. This is grey. Have they called it grey? Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, now I don't know which one I'd have to choose. Which one are you demoing in? The I'm green? demoing the green. Have you got a favourite? I have, I have, um, I'm kind of the blue, I think. Yeah. I think but the that's because it was your, it was, that that was, was my first, first baby, one. yeah. Yeah. But no, they're all nice. They're aren't all they? gorgeous. And the, aren't the they? patterns of the fabrics are just lovely. They're all little ditzy yeah. fabrics. Yeah. Did aren't Lou they? do them for you? Is yeah. it Lou upstairs? Yeah, she's brilliant, Lou. Yeah. Gorgeous. That's the grey one there. Right, let me go through some of the other things you might need before I do all the folding up. Uh, right, so we've mentioned wadding. So now uh, you can put H640 in it, can't you, if you want yeah. to? But we haven't got any H640 in stock at the moment. So we've got 8020. I think this is 8020 wadding, isn't it? You'd only need half a metre of it. Ooh. Feels lovely, this one. Age 20, you don't need half a metre of that, and you'll have loads left over for your stash. 6 99 We also just mentioned Decoville. Now, you could have bought this in the first hour for the little bit of the caravan, and then you'll already have, you'll already have this, because you'll only need... The, the two squares, the size of the front and the back. Yeah, would you? you yeah. did just need a little strip for the spine. Well, I mean, there's plenty here. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty have, here. You have plenty there to no, make Plenty a few. here. Yeah. For your 17 19. The thing is about things like Decaville is you buy it once and then don't have to buy it for months later because you'll use a little bit in your caravan, a little bit in this, a little bit in the stiffening of a, a bag or purse or wallet or something like that. So it's something you just need to have in your stash the whole time. Uh, if you are using the wadding, you might want some uh, 505 spray. Beautiful. Yeah, the biggest, the best way to buy it because you're saving a pound buying it in the big tin. Uh, you might need some ribbon. You might not have any ribbon to, just to tie it up. This is the grey, this is the grey gingham one. You get five metres on there for your 3 99 Beautiful. We've also got some organdy. 
Now, I'm presuming this is already cut into a, is it a meter piece. Yeah, pretty. Oh, that's pretty. What have I got there? I've got, a, I've got a meter there, so you'll have some of that left over if you want to use the more pa paler colours. Uh, and if you're going to... There's a, there's a needle... Oh, no, oh, I've got that. There's a needle holder in there. If you need some felt, this felt... I'm surprised we've got any of these left because the first time I, br I brought this to air, everybody bought this. Everybody loved this. You get 45 pieces of felt. Six inches squares for seventeen pounds and forty nine pence. And the last thing I'm going to show you is some cardboard, either for making the EP because you've got the template for the EPP uh, he hexes, or for stiffening it. There's ten sheets in there, I think. Twenty, twenty sheets in there for two ninety nine. Lovely. Right, I've got to tidy up if you want to start over. There. Oh, hang on. Blue, most popular again. Oh. The blue is going to sell out again. The blue will sell out. If you've got the blue in your, in your basket, you need to check out. Right, but we're demoing in Sage. So if you start that, I'll tidy up over Lovely. here. Lovely, thank you. So with the Sage, um, when you get your pattern, as we said before, lots of pictures, lots of instructions on how to do everything. So I'm gonna show you how to do EPP because you may not know. You may not have done EPP before. So, cut out all the panels all the little pieces from the big panel that you get now what john's already mentioned this when you get your panel you'll see that everything is labeled so this one for example will say lhs which is your left hand side pocket lining and it'll tell you how many there are so it's really clearly labeled when you cut them out just as a little tip i would i've cut mine out so the heading is still on there so when you've cut them all out you still know which bits for which Okay, so cut all your pieces out and then you will see on those panels, they will say fabric one, fabric two, fabric three, and they go up to fabric seven because you need seven different fabrics if you're using the panel to do EPP for the front cover. Okay, and then this pattern shows you how you arrange those seven different fabrics. So this is the pattern, just diagonal stripes and then the seven fabrics and I've just literally cut a little half an inch square of each of the different patterns of fabric and stuck them above each of the coloured hexagons so I know that that pink row there is going to be this pattern fabric but you like I said earlier you can do it however you want I just try and make it easy if, it, if you're new to it and you think well I'm not sure I just try and make it step by step so once you've cut out your little squares of fabric for your EPPs, then if you cut the strips one and a half inch squares as enough fabric for each of those seven, cut a one and a half inch square, and then that is perfect for your half inch hexi template, your card template. So the templates are on the back. You can get these, they're on my website if you wanted to buy the hexagons um, in, in packs. Um, or you can just make your own just by photocopying them. But I like to use a medium weight card because then they are nice and structured. So they keep your EPP all nicely together. And they're not too, if you use paper, I find them a bit thin. So these are a nice weight. And they're double sided. So they're cute because we like cute, pretty things, don't we? So I've got my first fabric for demo. It doesn't matter which order I'm doing them in. I've already made some up here. So get your inch and a half square of fabric lay that right side down and then you put your hexagon on top in the center ish because that's half an inch size and the pit, the fabric is an inch and a half square there's about half, a quarter of an inch seam allowance which is right and then take your glue pen and i always start on the edge that's furthest away from me so just put a little bit of glue on that furthest edge away Put the glue on the card, not the fabric, because if you push the fabric, especially with it being on the bias, on those angles, it can warp the fabric. So put the glue on the actual template and then pull that fabric, just fold it and you're slightly tensioning it towards you. Pick the hexagon up, turn it anti-clockwise and again, glue on that edge, fold the fabric towards you and fold it with your fingers. Your fingers are like mini irons because they're warm 
they act like a little mini iron you just press it down and it helps to crease and then just go all the way around your hexagon all six sides and there is your first hexagon made okay easy peasy especially if you've got a glue stick if you don't use the glue sticks and you prefer to um, stitch them then you can just base stitch each of the sides and that will keep the fabric nice and tight around the hexagon and then you just take those out when you're finished Sorry, not bring the glue pen up. Didn't we ask for a glue pen to be sent up? Got a glue yeah, pen. Yeah, I think Ben sent it. They were, they were yeah. on the website, I think, aren't they? Did he bring the glue pen up? We just check him. So, let's have a look. Thank got you. Glue pen? Yeah, got a glue pen. Fabulous. So, you're following the pattern, as I've already said. And I'm going to start, I always start when I'm doing my um, EPP, it's just personal choice, in this bottom left hand corner and sort of work up that way. And the pattern tells you what your finished sides needs to be. As you said, if you didn't want to do EPP, mm -hmm. it will. It does tell you the size. And also, again, like with quarter and inch seams, sometimes your hexagons might be a little bit smaller than half an inch bigger. You can use three quarter inch um, size hexagons, oh, inches, yeah, yeah, yeah. anything you want. There's no there's no rule book. You've got, but you would, you also had a second template in there for the pink cushion. Could you do it in like big ones? Yeah, you could do really big. These are two, <coughs> you these just, are two if you inch. like it, you don't like it that much. You could just make the square yeah. the right size, but using the bigger ones. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you could also, because with this one, I've only done EPP on the front and the back is just fabric. Oh, um, no. So, so <laughs> that wasn't because I was being lazy, John. That was just how I wanted it yes. to be. You can see though I have quilted the back with the, as though it's hexagons so that it matches that same style. But yeah, you could do the front and back with a well, two didn't inch. Didn't know mine. Didn't know yours. You cross hatch mine. Well, you see, I like to mix it but up. But then you've got little hexes inside. I notice here along the top yeah, of that. Yeah, there's little hexes mm. above. Oh, there. and they're on the pincushion as well. Yeah, there's hex. I mean, I I love my hexes. So if I can do a hexagon, I will. Yeah. So if you're new to EPP, then I'm just going to show you very quickly how to do it. So I've got all my little hexes made here. I love making them up. That's a hobby in itself, just yeah. making your little hexes. So sit in front of the TV with your little um, pad and then you can just make all of those. And then you take them following the pattern or doing it exactly how you want to do it in terms of design. And you take two hexagons and you place them right sides together. Now you could put a clip there if you wanted to that will hold them together. Because they're small, I'm just going to hang on to them for this. And then I'm just going to sew across one edge. So when I start, I always start sort of usually furthest away from me, sewing towards me. Uh -huh. Take the needle through, just catching a couple of threads either side. So you're catching both of those hexagon um, fabric pieces. My thread's just doubled over there. Let me just pull that one. You get a little bit fingers and thumbs when you're under these lights. So, and then you're just doing a very small um, slip stitch. So literally an eighth of an inch away apart from each other. And each time just taking a little bit of fabric from both sides. Uh -huh. The smaller you do your stitches, the less visible they're gonna be when you turn it out. I like to see the stitches. Yeah, I, I do as well. I don't, I don't hope that it comes out invisible. I think it's nice to see. Well, if it came out invisible, it could be done by a machine. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And then when you open those out, you'll see that your two hexagons are together. And you can just see them slightly. Sometimes, like this time, I'm using a creamy colour thread. If you use creamy colour thread or a light grey, it tends to blend with whatever fabric you're using unless you're using really bright colours and then I tend to use a colour that mm. matches the thread, uh, the fabric. And then you take your next one and I'm going to do exactly the same. Fold, the, place those hexagons right sides together and this time I'm going to go back so I'm sewing away from me. Each time I'm at the corner, so at either end of those seams, I'll take the needle through to put a knot in the thread. What thread do you use? I'm just using Gutterman all purpose. Okay. Yeah, I don't use any lightweight or fancy thread. I just like to use what I've got in. Yeah. 
just going to cut that little thread off because that one's just getting in the way. Mm -hmm. So when I get to the end there, again, take your needle through the loop so it's um, nice and secure. And then your, if I just open them out, you'll see where I'm at. Okay. Yeah. So that's the side that's not yet been sewn. So you could end there, tie it off and start again. But to save you doing that, I just go back over because you can also do EPP where you just um, keep the fabrics, the hexagon side by side. So I'm just going to do really big, almost like basting stitches to get back to that one corner where I started. Oh yeah, okay. Then fold this right hand side one in half because these two want to be right sides facing. If you fold that in half and keep it straight, it also helps you to, just to keep it all in line because you don't want a wiggly line. You want no. it all to be nice and square and symmetrical and straight and unless you're not too bothered. There's worse things, aren't there, John, than, you know, being a little bit out and having yeah, a wiggly line. Yeah, I was line. counting how many X's there were on the front and they got to 19, then you interrupted me. Sorry. I, I think there's, I th if you look on the pattern in the inside, it tells you, I've told, I think it's 144. Oh roughly. yeah, 144, yeah, yeah, 144. 144, yeah. Which sounds a lot, but well, it no. does actually grow really and quickly. And also, my friend Dulcie, who's a costume supervisor in the film industry, she does this to, to even though there's, she's around stitching all day long with costumes and things, this is her relaxation, because she obviously lives away from home while she's filming and everything, and it's her in the hotel or in the flat where she's staying, it's her relaxation. Oh, yeah. So the more hexes, the better for her, you know. Well, this is why my favourite size is this half inch, Yeah. because it's just tiny. nice and tiny, you really get into it, it's really mindful and relaxing, yeah. so yeah, it's mm. great for that. But it does actually grow quite quickly as yeah. well. It's not that tedious, you know, don't be put off. Well, no, it's addictive because you think, oh, I'll go to bed now. Oh, no, I'll just put that oh, one on there. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll go to bed now. I'll just put that one on there. That's what yeah. it is, yeah. And I've got loads of, I like a tin. Mm -hmm. So I'll have a tin with one lot of fabrics in it, a tin with lots of other bits. So I've got all these different tins, all different sizes of hexes. They're, they're brilliant. And that's really what this is made in mind for, so that it's your EPP. Folder. So in all oh, okay. really that was my initial idea so that in here you can put all your hexes you can yeah. put your hexes in in here you can put your glue stick so that was really my thinking yeah, behind yeah, it yeah, yeah. so you can have it all in there your projects so you carry on sewing your hexagons like that until you get it just grows and grows and grows and then you get to the size of the front of the hexagon um, the sewing organizer and then you can stop but when it does explain to you let me just find that page in the pattern how big it needs to be make sure so it sounds obvious but make sure your piece is bigger oh yeah you because cut it down, obviously yeah. when you get your edges <coughs> the, the edges are hexagonal yeah. So you'll need to make sure it's bigger than so that you can cut it down. Yeah. So I'm going to take all these out the way now because I think that's uh, EPP. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? Once you get going. And I think the thing with EPP is having all the right tools. Yes, definitely. I like me, you know, my leather thimble and things like that. So then step two, I'm going to put those out the way because they're the fabrics for that front EPP cover. And this is where you start compiling or constructing your the insides. So on the insides, and this is what we mean when everything's abbreviated, if it says L F H or L A L H S, yeah. that's left hand side and right hand side. Okay, because as you open it, they're they're different. Yeah. So this side you've got a pocket here, these four smaller ones. And this one, you've got these pockets here and that needle minder, which is just a piece of felt with those hexagons across the top. And the pin cushion is again, just seven hexes in a like grandmother's garden style. The hexagon template you get in the pattern, yeah. that's two inches. And then that's where your Velcro is on the back. Oh yeah, we've got so one touch can, fastening, yeah. So you can take that off. Yeah. So when you're working, you can take it off. And then when you go in in the car or on holiday, you can stick it there. There's hook and loop in white sewing. Two centimetres wide by 50 centimetres long. Half a metre of it there. 199. Gorgeous. Right. Okay, so for your pockets, you can see here, 
I've put one on already, so there's, there's four to go on there. Uh -huh. And the way I've measured it out and done it all is so that instead of putting a binding edge, the lining is bigger. So it uh, makes that okay. binding yeah, edge. So yeah. I'm going to show you how that works. Brilliant. Okay, so with your pockets, so this one is the outer piece. So I'm just going to cut this out so you can see how easy it is because all these sizes are correct you can just cut them out but if you're not using the panel you can see in here all the sizes are here of what oh, you need to brilliant. cut out so once you it's not a one-time pattern you no. can use it with the panel but then keep your pattern because you can use all your own fabrics Absolutely. over and over again brilliant. Yeah. yeah so i wrote the pattern without a panel in mind oh, okay i wrote the pattern as it was and then, then we decided yeah. actually this would be really nice as a panel yeah. so yeah if you haven't got the panel then you can just use all of these it tells you here what Brilliant. every piece is and how big it is and so just double check when you're cutting these out that they are the right size because some of them lou's been very generous and giving you a bit more fabric yeah of course so just double check that it's the right size so that's the front piece of one of the pockets. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to use the contrasting fabric because you wouldn't want it to be the same because you want that binding edge yeah. to pop over the top and give you, like I say, a binding. But it's a bit of a cheats way of doing it. No, but it works. Yeah, I like a, I like a quick sort of way of doing something. It's nice. So you've got your two pocket pieces and one is meant to be larger than the other. That's the lining. So place those right sides together. I'm just going to sew across that long edge. Most of my patterns, unless stated otherwise, are a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Um, but again, it'll tell you on the pattern. Yeah. But generally, I work to that. Keeps things simple then, doesn't it, John? Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's like me, I always do five eighths of an inch seam allowance on when I'm doing dressmaking. Yeah. Because I draft my own pattern and then you don't put seam allowance on it, but I always cut out five eighths of an inch. So you know where you are. So I've sewn along that edge. Obviously, yeah. I wouldn't use such a dark thread, but I've used that to show you so it stands out. And then on this piece, if you just bring that front piece up so those edges meet. Yeah. And then sew along there. So it feels a little bit wrong at this stage but go with it. <laughs> and then I'm going to press that in a second. If you just push that away from you, then you'll see that that binding edge when we turn it out is going to be in the right place. I'm just going to press that as well. Press, 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 because that then makes your, when you sew a seam, it makes it part of the fabric rather than it being a seam on top of the yeah. fabric. Sew down one of those narrower um, width ends now, the smaller size. And then on the other edge, leave a turning gap. So you're, you're literally sewing about half an inch on each end because you need a turning gap. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. Press it again. Press, press, press. Love those irons. Yeah. You've not got one? I haven't got one. Oof. I use my little one. You know, the mini. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just have that. So, um, yeah, if I had a, if I used a bigger iron for sewing, I would have one of those. Yeah. So I've cut the corners off just to reduce the bulk in the seam. And then turn it out carefully. You're dealing with the quite small you know pieces again i use my kebab stick oh, which is my turning tool yeah of course you're turning these, tool. these are my favorite turning tools because they've got a nice little end at the one end and then a pointy bit at the other uh morning john debbie and team me and toodles are sat watching you both with a costa coffee oh that's <gasps> that's oh. Uh, becky from next door costa coffee are you out uh why isn't your mum at work why don't you work uh alan says sorry i've not been here for a while not been i've been quite poorly but i'm getting better now oh yeah get better soon alan oh, oh that's nice that he's joined us so i've turned that out press again and then you'll see i'm just going to chop off those edges you get all these little loose threads don't you yeah 
and there is your pocket and looks fairly very really neat with that binding edge so that's the lining piece that's then popped over the top okay perfect then with one of your inside cover pieces see how it's labeled yeah so i've cut it off but kept the label on it otherwise you don't know which is which and then pop the pocket again the measurements are all in the pattern use my pins pin that in place and then I'm just going to sew. In fact, I'm going to top stitch along there. Again, you'll see this because it's um, a contrast colour thread. Yeah. I'm just going to make that stitch length a bit bigger just because it's a top stitch. And then keep expecting that needle, you know, the foot to pop up. And just because you've got a Because it's machine. automatic, yeah. Uh, half of the patterns have gone, half the patterns have gone. And then place your pocket there, pin in place with your magic pins. Oh yeah, magic pins, 100 of them, 19.99. Put those in my pin cushion. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. So once you've made all your four pockets, place that in the right position so you'll have four. And then I'm just going to sew that on down the three edges so that I've got my little pocket. So don't sew that top edge. Otherwise, your pocket won't be much use. No. And then when you start stitching there, just back stitch as well so that it keeps it nice and um, secure. Because you don't want... It seems to be getting stuck a bit. No. That's it. Um, you Julie Thorne. To... I haven't heard from Julie Thorne in months. She said, morning. What a lovely project. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, all to do with Debbie. Uh, Sharon says, morning, loving a, a loving a relaxing morning watching. Still on a buying ban as Windhill not back home. Yeah, but if you order it now, it'll be waiting for you when you get home, Sharon. Uh, oh, hopefully another four weeks. Oh, she's moved out into an Airbnb while the kitchen's being built. That's Ooh, posh, isn't it? Oh, that sounds perfect, doesn't it? It's a little holiday. Yeah. Go back and you've got a nice new kitchen. kitchen. Yeah, but I want to be there going, why have you put that there? What have you put here? Project manager. Yeah. <laughs> Moaning, more like. <laughs> so that's how you place the pockets onto that inside cover on Lovely. that left-hand side. Yeah. Okay. And then the same with the next, these bigger pockets. Okay. Yeah. So the larger pockets come like this so you get again these are all labeled right hand side large pocket keep the label on until you're ready to cut it out yeah and with this one I can now cut well let's cut this one I just love all these little ditzy prints they're so cute yeah is blue still in the lead very much in the lead is it really Oh, by three. That's uh, three. I would go very yeah, much by three. Seven. What's behind it then? Oh, sage and red current in equal second place. Oh, really? Mm. So the grey is uh, coming up behind. Tailing behind. Gosh, because grey is really popular, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Obviously not in sewing room. But rooms. not maybe in the sewing room. I suppose what what you could do with these, to have it, rather than it being all one colour. You could have the grey and then put like a, your own yellow or oh, yeah, something, yeah, yeah, exactly, which would be yeah. really nice. So with these pockets, yeah. it's exactly the same. One piece is larger than the other. So we're going to do the same and sew along that narrower edge, yeah. the width edge. This is slightly different. When we construct it, I'll show you how it goes together. Yeah. Oh no, I'm norm. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. I thought she said, no, I'm not leered, but I'm, I'm normally there. This is Sharon in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Um, but my plaster's getting in the way. It doesn't say that at all. It says, I'm normally there, but the plaster is in at the moment and requires his space. Oh, yeah, they're very fussy plasterers, aren't they? Very talented, don't know how they, they do oh, it. Oh, it's like ice in a cake. Yeah, but, but upside wall down. Size. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's such a skill, that is. So you've got your right hand side of your inside cover here. Yeah. That sounded like a mouthful, didn't it? Right hand side. This is your pocket. 
So take your pocket, line pocket. up those bottom edges, and then you'll see that binding edge comes together. Nice. Beautifully. So press, 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 press. Oh, now Liz says, hi, John and Debbie, just back from walking the dog, Penny. We'll have to watch the replay for full demonstration. It's just what I need. Ever hopeful of getting organised. Come on, Liz, you can do it. The thing but be is careful if you want the blue one, Liz, because it's very, very, very um, popular. It's nice just to get yourself organised, isn't it? Yeah. So I've top stitched along the edge there, and then you can really see that binding edge pop. And it just gives it a bit more structure, so your pocket isn't just a floppy edge. A flap. A flap, that's the word. Also, there's no raw edges or anything. When you line all your pockets, I love it that all the pockets are lined. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it looks automatically looks and feels it's nice. It's just as well. nicer quality, yeah. isn't it then? Yeah. yeah, it definitely is. And then with this one, when you're doing those larger pockets on the inside, you don't need to sew down the edge. You could tack those in place. So I'm going to do that now, just so that it keeps it in place. Lovely. But when you do tack those in, adjust your sewing line so that you're within the seam allowance because um, you're going to sew this to the outer yeah. edge to finish your... Um, I think everyone's been out shopping this morning. Derek, good morning, John and Debbie. Loving today's demo. We'll have to watch from the start later. How many times have I read that out today? Oh, man, it's just been... Been out buying threads. A lot of threads needed for my sewing street fabrics. Oh, Derek, I've got a stash of fabric. A stash of threads coming up in a minute. Oh. They haven't been all out together because they live in different parts of the world. Yeah. Okay, so I've tacked those in place just so that when you're sewing that to your back cover, yeah. it doesn't come all undone. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to show you how to put that other pocket on the top oh, right. because that's the same. I don't want to bore you. Oh, you've done that already. <laughs> but I'm only joking before you write in. Yeah, write in and complain. No, he's don't just, write in and complain. No, he's Again, not, he's not picking on me. Um, but if you wanted to, when it comes to making these, this pocket here, you know, where you've got the dividers, that's perfect, that size, for your glue pen. Yeah. And again, in the pattern, I've explained how, what the distance is to, to sew your lines so that you get your little pockets Lovely. for all your bits and bobs. Yeah. And then you would just use your friction pen and draw a line where you want that pocket yeah. to be separated and then you would just sew down that line and that would create your pocket. Lovely. Okay. Then let's get to the back piece just so you can see how it all comes together. So this is the back cover. So you can see this one again. I've yeah. left the, cover, the label on it. I'm now I'm going to take that off because I know what it's for. So that's my back cover. And this is my, I've used H640. Right, okay. Okay, just because it just saves you using the basting spray, but it's exactly the same. So I'm going to place the, oh, place my H640 with the bobbles on, facing up, and I'm going to adhere that just using the iron. Yeah, I um, had to make, I made my friend Francesca a cushion because she's, um, uh, having treatment at the moment, she's not very well, so I oh. did her something to cheer her up and everything. Oh. And I could not get my H640 to stick. It did eventually. Sometimes you really like this. Like that, like that. Yeah, you it's, have it to sticks really eventually. You sometimes don't be going, oh, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. And then suddenly, it just it maybe I was, I was being impatient, maybe I wasn't pressing on mine enough, whatever. Maybe I hadn't had it on long enough or anything, but would it go on? I was, it was late Saturday night and I just wanted to finish the cushion. I think, do you think it's when you get a little bit, I get a little bit impatient yes. thinking, oh, no, that definitely, that's definitely. enough. And, and then... I also sew downstairs in the dining room, but the ironing board's upstairs in the dressing room, so I have to keep oh, running up and down. I'm like, oh, fuck. and the cats are sick of me running up and down the stairs and everything. And you're thinking, I just want to get this I cushion. Finish and go to bed. Well, at that point, you're thinking, I should have just bought. <laughs> no, no, because at the dog of the month panel was one of them was Ripley, her dog. So what I did was I got one of the Dog of the Month panels with Ripley and then I used my John Scott Travels India fabrics to do a log cabin around the outside. Oh, lovely. Uh, and then sent it to her, yeah. Oh, how nice. Oh, wow, well, yeah, you could Oh, no, it, was, it, was, and it, it, was, it wasn't one of those things where you go, oh, I'm going to leave it for another day. I'm just day. not going to bother. Because she started her chemo the following day, so oh. I just wanted to get it off to her in the post. Oh, how lovely, though, for her to have that. What, well, me as a mate, you mean? <laughs> 
I lost all the cushion. I lost my soap buddy last year, inherited her stash, including some Liberty Squares. I've been looking for a special project to make with them. This is it. Oh, Christine, that's brilliant because not only will you make a, a gorgeous keeper, every time you look at it, you'll think of your sewing friend that you lost as a lovely memory, a memory nice. keeper as well. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely, that is. Pattern's flying out, by the way. So I'm now sewing the back cover yeah. to the, the lining piece with the H640 or your modding in the middle yeah. to the lining. And because I tacked that um, that pocket piece in, I can see that I'm that's been sewn now within the seam allowance. So take out my pens. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to cut those corners off yeah. slightly just to, again, just reduce the bulk so that you get a nice pointed edge. And then leave your turning gap and turn that through. They're really nice quality, these panels. Yeah, aren't they? Oh yeah definitely. The yeah. cotton is absolutely beautiful. And then push your corners out. I've got my pointy tool there. Push it out. And I've just come in about an inch on that bottom edge uh -huh. um, and then left the turning gap for the rest of it. Push that out so you've got your pocket in place and it's all nice and neat. And then I'm just going to give that a nice press. This is why I have my iron on all the time, just, oh God, yeah. just at the side of the machine. Now what you will have done, ideally, is quilted that back because I've not done that at this yeah. point obviously don't do it now no you'll no. quilt the um, pocket to it so quilt that in a design of your choice and then that's the back edge the back cover yeah and your front cover is made in exactly the same way if you've EPP'd it obviously you'll have that as an EPP piece and you'll have the bit with the pockets on right whatever that is yeah. so that's your inside cover for your left hand side and your EPP piece would be the other side yeah. does that make sense yeah. yeah yeah and then i just wanted to show you this this so is they're the, completely finished off then are they they are completely finished off so your back cover and your front cover are two separate, separate units pieces. we haven't thrown them together no we yet. haven't done that right, yet because okay. no, no, what i wanted it to be was solid yes like yeah. an a4 fold well yeah. solidish you know yeah i wanted it to be like an a4 yeah, folder. yeah i understand so it's that's how i've constructed yeah. it don't forget, obviously these demos are very quick, quick. With your, if you're using the ribbon to you tie, you forgot to, I you forgot forget to do things. this. I pop that in there. Oh know? yeah, 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 yeah. So you'd need to sew that within yeah. your seam allowance. One on each side, one on the front one and one on, on the back. One on each side. I'm remembering so which side of it to put it in. Yes, yeah. yeah. But again, the pattern is, is, it's got everything in detail. Yeah. And also for those, make sure they're lined up right. Yes. You know, because you don't want one there and one there. No. Unless you want to be a bit different. Quirky. But what I was trying to sort of rush to get to was this Decaville part. Yeah. So this is equally fine. This one has just got that thin, no, well, not thin, medium weight card. Card, yeah. So there's no, no difference really. The only difference is the Decaville's got a sticky side, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you've left your turning gap. Just, this is obviously cut to the same size. Just fold it loosely in half and then pop that in like that so that you can get it in between the H640 um, yeah. and that back cover. See why I wanted to just show you mm. because you could that's the kind of thing you might look at it and think well that's not going in there. No, not going in it's there. It's a bit like putting your pillow in a pillowcase. Okay lovely fits like a glove. Yeah. So give that a press again. So that means that it's now going to stick, doesn't it? If you're warming it, because it's got a sticky side, it's doesn't gonna it? It's going to stick. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that is is nice and done. Now I'm also going to fold in that seam allowance, which mm -hmm. is for my turning gap. So just fold that in. Give it a good crease, good press with your finger, because they're your mini irons. I like to think of them as. Because they're warm, aren't they, your fingers? So they, well, are, they yeah, actually, most of the time. they are, yeah, not only, but you wouldn't be sewing out in the snow. 
Well, you might be. No, I mean, sometimes you get chilly hands. Sometimes you do, but they're still warm enough to yeah. crease your um Oh, yeah, Stuart, Stuart uses his nail and his finger most of the time. All the time, yeah, yeah. that's it. And then use your little clips, your quilting clips, to just secure that in place. And then, at this point, you're going to sew round the edge top stitch right and what that does is keeps that in place mm -hmm. sews up that turning gap and keeps it all nice Lovely. and neat and you're saying through the decaville as well then. and you're going through the decaville yeah so i'm going to top stitch i've moved my i've, I've made it a longer stitch and i'm going to sew as close to the edge as i can mm -hmm. i like to top stitch fairly close to the edge <coughs> taking your clips off as you go of course yeah always blues racing into the lead now storming it is storming loads in baskets you need to check out if you want it especially on the blue I would have, if I was at home, I would have had my walking foot on for this. Just and you'd because be sitting down and you'd have a glass of wine by yourself. Well, I wouldn't, no. <laughs> I'd, have, I'd have a cup of tea. I'd, I have tea on tap when I'm sewing. Do you, do you have biscuits on tap as well? Not really, mm. no. I, like me, uh, I do like my cups of tea. But yeah, um, have your walking foot on because yeah. obviously you've got all those layers. Yeah, of course. Put your machine on. But the machine's gone through it all right, isn't it? Absolutely fine, yeah. yeah. So that's nicely top stitched. So as, as John said, you've got two separate pieces now. This is the back piece. Yeah. So if you wanted to personalise it with different pockets and all sorts, you could. With your hexagons, make a string, if you like, a line of nine hexagons. And then I've just sewn those. My needles have gone through the, the fabric. Sewn those on to that piece there with the, just securing that little piece of felt. So right. those, those- Can you do that now? Yeah, well, you could, well, you could have done, could have done that before. before. Yeah, 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 do it before. Um, because I just wanted to get to show you how no, to no, do no, that. No, 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 that's fine. So yeah, do that before. Yeah. So do everything before, so you've got the full inside covers done. Yeah. And then you put in your ribbon, tie around, go around the edge, and then, <laughs> then you come to your spine. Right. So the spine, is just as straightforward but and quite similar so you've got your two spine pieces you've got your h640 and i'm just gonna have to talk you through this I yeah think. yeah so with your spine it's all in the pattern you've got your uh, adhere the fabric to your h640 or your spray based your yeah, your wad in and then do exactly the same so that you've got that piece nicely sewn and the h640 is in the middle so you're making another complete finished unit yes right. so this is a separate unit let me show you yeah. one here and that unit you would sew two separate edges here two lines leave the turning gap open and then you'll put a piece of decaville or card uh, okay. to make the spine of the folder yeah okay. so slide that in just the same and then that gives you sort of like a three-piece spine yeah and then once that spine is done turn it out top stitch around the edge and then remember this is your back yeah you then sew it onto that just top stitch it on piece so it's top stitched on oh, the back yeah, yeah 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 so top stitch onto the back because all of this stitching makes it more structured yes, as well exactly yeah so you top stitch around there you leave that center bit because that obviously is the spine that's where you're getting the movement and then when you come to the front i then hand sewed the spine to that front cover you could top stitch it with the machine, yeah. but I just hand sewed that front piece just Brilliant. so it was more invisible. So it didn't take away from that. Fantastic, right, I'll just do a recap before we say goodbye. So now the blue one, the blue one is uber, uber, uber popular. So you get the panel and you get the instructions for 23.99. Check out your baskets, check out, check out, check out loads. Have you got it in your baskets? 
Then runner up, number one, first runner up in the myth. Um, sage, oh sage. <coughs> I'm not, I know I love, I like the sage. I don't know why I said it surprised me. I like the sage one. 23 99 so you get the sage panel and the instructions there. Then we've got red current. Beautiful. Panel and instructions. And now catching up with red current is the grey. Well, I think it's because Debbie because Debbie suggested a good one. Because it's all grey, maybe you've got a favourite fabric at home, which you could, you know, the, uh, that stash. Mm -hmm. And you could just use some of that in with the grey, just to lift the grey up a little bit. That'd be bit. really nice contrast yeah. then, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Beautiful. Uh, that's a great one, £23.99. Uh, now, is there anything else I need to go through with Debbie? The what? Oh, pattern on its own, yeah, pattern on its own, sorry, yeah, pattern on its own. There you go, 9.99, loads you got that in your basket, make sure you check out. Right, now I've got to say bye to Debbie first, thank bye you bye. very much bye indeed. Bye. When are you bye in bye. next? Uh, July, August, September. Oh, crikey. I know, we've got festival. Yeah, and so make sure you go and see her at festival, festival look her up, Pulse. she's got her own stall at festival. Yeah. Make sure you go and say hello to her, and if she's not there, she'll just be wandering off chatting to someone, she'll be back soon. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much indeed, Debbie. I just thank need to do you. this before we go for a break. Uh, I was meant to do these at 8 o'clock this morning, completely forgot. So I've just got to do this Annie sewing, quick and easy sewing, 20 fast and fun designs. Beautiful. Look, so there's all sorts of projects in here. Crossbody purse, busy bee project bag, wine bottle, wine bottle bag, casserole casserole carrier okay <laughs> that'd fall out wouldn't it if you tried to carry that anyway my fabric silverware basket steaming copper wall hanging that's what you need in your in your workroom mm. beautiful citrus slice pot holders brand new brand new brand new 9.99 nine pounds 99 pence Great for all ages, including kids. Oh, because we're doing children's. That's what Hayley told me to say. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely book. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence with twenty projects, twenty plus projects. What? Oh. Nine ninety-nine. Um, Ben's phone's talking to me. Don't know what that means. So quick and easy sewing, twenty plus projects. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Right, and the other thing you might—I was supposed to do at eight o'clock this morning—was this bundle of threads. Now there are twenty, if I remember correctly, are there twenty threads in there. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah, two, two, three, four, five. Twenty threads in there. These are the colours you'll get. Yours be a bit better packed than this one. I'm blaming Roy. Okay, so now it's not. We never charge thirty four ninety nine for these. Never been seventeen ninety nine before. They're normally nineteen ninety nine on a special day. Nineteen ninety nine, but Ben's taking it to seventeen ninety nine for you. They are polyester threads. A range of colours. These are the colours you're going to get. Gorgeous. Make sure you check out, check out, check out. Right. Don't go anywhere. What are we doing with Nicola? Oh, applique. We're doing gorgeous applique coming up next. We've got applique kits and projects that you put the applique on. You're going to love it. I will see you back here in about four minutes time. Thank you, Debbie. Safe journey home. And I'll see you in four minutes time. up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. What I really like about coming to the Festival of Quilts is a chance to see what people are making and really share my own enthusiasm for the quilting world. People come from all over the world and all over the UK to visit. There's quite a wide variety of traders, I mean from sewing machines down to sewing needles. Loads of fun, lots of choice. The quilts at the show today have been very inspiring because they've been done by lots of different people. They've got different techniques, different colour combinations. Oh, it's the biggest thrill when you're chosen and you get a first prize. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker.
Now, you know, I've been telling you all day it's producer Kat's birthday from Cardboard Next Door. She's in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh. She's getting changed into a nice top later. Yeah. I get to go home an hour early. I shouldn't say that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not supposed to know that. No. Uh, well, that means you're going to miss Bruce then. Because Bruce comes... No. No, I'll go... So I'll go home at five instead of six. Oh, so you will see Bruce. You'll yeah, see, Bruce. see Bruce. Right. Bruce. Now, what did your boyfriend buy you for your birthday? He's not my boyfriend. Your fiancé. <laughs> fiancé. He's, been, he's only been um, the boyfriend for 11 years. He bought me an... One of them electronic ear cleaners that's got a camera on it so you can see all the... Because I clean my ears every day, I'm awful for it. Yeah, no, but you don't, I, bet, I bet you any money you're... Cleaner than anyone. Person with ears. Who would that be? Not like a dentist. Who um, Who tell you off about your ears? Or jo well, my, I, my ear piece man would go mad at that. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, no, I'm not meant to do it. Can you bring it in and we can all have a go? Well, I don't know if they've got interchangeable tips or if it's just... Just oh, you know I mean? go have a lovely Bye, birthday. She brought me you. a donut as well. Look, she brought me a donut. Right, uh, on a plique now. We're on a plique now. So Nicholas, back. These are gorgeous. You're going to love these so much. Right. So what it is is we've got a plique kit, and then we've got a plique project so you can make with the kits. So let me let me explain. What which one are we doing first? Right, sewing room first of all, right? So the but if you want to make the whole of this cushion, right? We have got the bundle to make the whole of this cushion. So what you get in that bundle, let me make a bit of... Something's gone wrong with this table because everything is... I, I've got a huge table all the way down there and I'm all crammed onto the end here, look. Here, to make this cushion, now it doesn't have to be for Jane. Don't worry, don't worry. What you get in this, in this um, kit is everything on here buttons, felt, bonder web, uh, everything. And you also get the fabric and the instructions of how to make the cushion as well. So oh, for 20 pounds, is that all? 20 pounds, you get the fabric to make this, you get the fabric for the back, you get the instructions, right? But then you also get this gorgeous little box here from little Miss So-and-so. And in here, Look, you've got, now you've got some of that same fabric because it's obviously you can tie in the, the binding with the, um, with the applique. So you get your felt, you get, this is all Liberty. Yeah. Uh, Liberty, you get your felt, uh, ooh, what's that? That's nice, can you sew through that? Yeah. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Has that got a name? It's just a glitter felt. Whoa, we've never had that, have we? Plus all your instructions. Oh, now, also, this is why I'm not saying it doesn't have to be Jane, because, look, so you get all of your templates for your sewing machine, your bunting, your letters. Now, remember, you need to put this on the gluey side of the bonder web, because if you put it on the paper side, when you press it on, it'll be the other way around. Is that right? Yeah, so yeah. I'll demonstrate that. Oh, oh, sorry, I've just taken away the demonstration, <laughs> sorry. I'll just shut up. A demo over, we're going home now. <laughs> oh, and numbers, everything, so you can completely and utterly customise it. What's in here? I get sweeties, when I was different, you used to get sweeties in the back of it. Oh, gorgeous little buttons and everything in there. So the whole of that, to make the whole of that cushion, £20. We love it, we love this. Oh, hang on. Ben's having a moment. Anyway, this moment isn't worth speaking about. So that's for the whole bundle there, 20 pounds, right? 20 pounds. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, I really want all of that. I don't want to make a cushion. I want to make a lovely picture. Now this might reflect, oh no, there you go. I want to make a lovely picture to go on the wall in my sewing room, right? So you can buy, you don't get the frame or anything like that. You just get the whole of this for £10. The whole of this kit in here. You still get your Liberty fabric, you still get your felt, you still get your glitter felt, you still get your instructions, still get your bonder web, still get your buttons for £10. £10 you get that lovely. So that's gorgeous. Isn't it? So you could have uh, Ben's uh, singing room if you wanted. And then you could turn that up that way and put Ben singing into a micro, a micro microscope, I was gonna say though. Like a microphone. I'm gonna, I'm gonna customize it to make it into a microphone. He's not very good at singing apparently. But you know what I mean, you can make it whatever you want to make it. 
if you don't want the sewing machine save the, the, the template for another project and put um ben's singing room and then put put one of those 1950s you know um make one of those 1950s microphones mind you what was your what's your musical instrument piano piano keyboard anyway you can do what you want you can do what you want but i love this or like for, for that one i think this is gorgeous just put it on a piece of calico now have i got calico tomorrow do you say got calico back in stock tomorrow got calico back in stock tomorrow so you can always get that tomorrow or if you bought one of the 25 meter bolts the other day put it onto calico how lovely is that so that's 10 pounds for that kit 10 pounds so that's your um, sewing room and sewing room cushion kit who was that me was that you yeah something just dropped oh it's one of your kits oh. made a lot of noise for a cardboard box right <laughs> should we do rocket next then so here's rocket now the full kit on this one is to make the bag right so if you want to make this bag again doesn't have to say oliver elton you could have elton on there if you wanted to yeah i got it he, he forgets i used to make elton's clothes anyway so you get the fabric for the bag it's lined with calico you get the cord and you get all the applique in here so you get your blue felt your white felt oh wah, your glitter felt there's your bonder web uh, and all your instructions and everything in there so that for the to make the bag 20 pounds 20 pounds lovely isn't it there's a picture of it so if you want that whole bundle to make that bag complete and you get the instructions of how to make the bag as well as well as the instructions about the um, applique 20 pounds right if you don't want to make the bag and you just want this to make um a little um, wall hanging or something like that the applique kit they got 10 pounds 10 pounds instructions felt felt bond web and glitter felt 10 pounds it'd be a nice present especially with the christmas uh, christmas the summer holidays coming up no well no christmas in july next week but christmas is five months away still isn't it <laughs> it'll be here before we know it <laughs> summer's not over but weather wise it is though isn't it ridiculous anyway beautiful 10 pounds for that bundle I'll put that in there that in there that in there last one rainbow so if you want to make the drawstring rainbow bag you see there's a teddy bear's bottom facing out of this bag there we go beautiful so if you want to make the whole bag with the rainbow and the gold glitter for the name 20 pounds and calico for sturdiness inside and the cord 20 pounds beautiful isn't it i love this <laughs> 20 pounds now if you just want the applique kit on its own so you get your white for your clouds your yellow oh now do i get some pink and red in here as yeah, well? you should get some pink you get red. the pink and the red you get the pink the red the yellow the green and the white in there don't worry you won't just get a piece of yellow paint the whole world with a yellow rainbow so you've got the gold for writing as well so your name can't be too long in that one what smells like popcorn oh pff. anyway that's 10 pounds 10 pounds 10 pounds 10 pounds beautiful right what are you making so i'm going to make the rocket bag perfect and um, we're going to start off with the applique so um i've pre-cut my pattern out so i've got all the little pieces so um the pattern will tell you how many of each piece you need to cut out so i've cut them out and i've attached the bonder web to the back of the felt pieces so just use this one as an example so this is the blue um this blue felt and yeah. on the back i've put the glue side of the bonder web facing the back of the felt 
So you know the glue side because it's rough. So you put the rough side facing the wrong side of your fabric or felt. Use a hot iron to stick it in place. So I've done that with all of my fabric pieces. So I've got the little bit of sparkly there. Yeah. And my sparkly card. So I've pre-cut the bits of paper out. So I'm just going to quickly draw around those. Um, and I heard it was Children's Week. It is Children's Week, week so yeah. This actually is a really great project that children who like to sew could have a go at doing. Um, I've, these are really popular for back to school, for little personalised oh, PE yeah, kits. Oh yeah, definitely. I used to make them for my children. They always had a personalised PE kit. Or if they're going for sleepovers with Nan and Grandad or yep. Uncle or Auntie or whoever they're going to stay with, it'd be a nice little bag for them to pack their bits and bobs in as well. Exactly. But also, you know what? I'm saying little children. I think Rebecca Reed would like one of those to go to one of her, <laughs> um, you know, kind of um, go off to Glastonbury or whatever, go to your Goodwood or whatever, a little bag with your goodies in for your day. Mm -hmm. Goodwood, was, wasn't it cancelled last week, Goodwood? Because of, right. of the storm. It was cancelled. It was the same thing of speed, isn't it? The, um, yeah. I don't think it was whole, the whole thing. I think the last day, because Saturday was so stormy. Where I was, I thought the trees were coming down. It was really good. And I was listening to Rylan on the radio as I was driving up north on Saturday afternoon. I'll just tell you. And um, his mum rang and said, oh, a tree's fallen down in your front garden. <laughs> and that was in London, where, wherever he lives. Essex, wherever he lives. Oh, Bruce had that apparently, not this weekend. It wasn't too bad right. down in Sussex. Mm? It wasn't too bad where we were. Wasn't it? No. Oh, oh no, it was fine when I got up to the Wirral. It was absolutely fine <laughs> up there, but it was here. And then and I drove up through like hailstones, wind, rain, sunshine, everything, all the seasons, all in one journey. <laughs> it's crazy. Right. Okay, so I've drawn those. I'm just going to quickly cut them out. Now, what um, are you using there then? So these are applique scissors, or um, they can be called duck build scissors. Yes. Yeah. Um, they, I find them really useful for just cutting out small shapes. I know you mentioned earlier about a layered applique, which... A reverse applique, yeah. A reverse applique, okay. So I just really and like also, also in dressmaking, I use them to graduate my seams. Yes, I've with. been using them recently. And Have we got those then, really Ben? really helpful. Here they are. <laughs> I didn't... Didn't what? I forgot to mention, when you're drawing your shapes onto the back, if it's... Um, uh, um, if it's not a mirror image, you do need to draw it back yeah, to front. So letter, so this is what you, yes, yeah, a letter. Yes, a letter, you would do it back to front. Yeah. So um, that when it cuts out, it's facing the right way. Yeah. I think we're just putting the scissors in there. There you go. <laughs> no, hang on. Okay. Okay, moving on. Okay. Right, so, yeah, just cutting all these little pieces out. Yeah. These um, little kits as well, you don't, if you're not making a PE bag, things like the Rocket, you could use to jazz up the back of a t-shirt, or front of a t-shirt, back of a jacket. Yeah. So if you are into, even if it's just a shop bought one, they're really versatile in that. Or denim yeah. jacket look nice, yeah. wouldn't it? Things like that. Um, or birthday bunting. The what? Birthday bunting. Oh yeah. I think it's a good project as well because it's not, you know, if, I don't want this to be gender what's it, but if little boys do it, it's not sewing as such because you're creating something no. with sticking and irons and things like yeah. that. So there's more to it than just the yeah. sewing, isn't there? For during the summer holidays. Mm. Definitely, you could be making your own little PE bag to go back to school with. Yeah. So my daughter's Elsie, and oh, okay. um, she's actually 12, going on 22. Oh. So we showed her that the other evening, and I said, look, I've made you a bag to take back to school. And her face, she was like, okay. Oh, no, what, she didn't want it, or she did want no, it? No, didn't oh, want wow, it. Oh, wow, she's 12, no. Yeah. What about Oliver, does that say Oliver? Is he your little boy? No, my boy's James, and he'd take whatever I gave him. Oh, <laughs> He's 14. Oh, 14. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's soft. But Elsie less so. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right, so that's all the little pieces. 
stuck. So I'm going to start off by just um, arranging where I'm going to put my applique piece. So before I start taking the backs off the bond web, I just want to make sure that I'm happy with the placement. Bearing in mind there's going to be one centimetre seam allowance and I want to leave a little bit of space at the top for gathering the bag. So I think that looks quite a nice, and also I'm going to be appliqueing the yeah. name. So I think that looks quite a good placement. So I'm going to take those bits off and I'm just going to make a little mark with a fabric pen, just so I know that's roughly where I'm going to be popping the, the main part of the rocket. Yeah. So that is my starting point for layering up the applique. Um, the paper peels off to reveal the glue. And I'm just going to pop that back on there. Right. I believe I've got a wet, damp cloth just here. Oh, oh is it big enough? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you use a damp cloth to do your bond web, do you? Yes, it just helps. Um, the steam and the dampness helps with the glue to stick to the fabric. So um, I'm going to use part of this I was going to say, do you want dress? me to slice your bit <laughs> It's all right. You're right. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm just going to press it down. It's switched on, isn't it? Yeah. And then that will hold everything in place. Oh, I forget about that. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, there you go. So that's stuck nicely. So I'm going to get the next two pieces. Um, and if sometimes if it's a tiny little piece and it doesn't come off as well, you can just tear the paper a little bit and it just gives you a little bit to lift off. And position those. Oh, I will do in a second, yeah. Um. Okay. Just need to, it's my, my bad, I didn't do the moving. Just lift your iron up a second. I can't see what you're doing, we need to move Oh, okay. There. Sorry, my bad. There, <laughs> you go. there you go. Okay, so I've just um, placed the rocket down. I used the wet cloth on top to, um, to stick the bond web to the bottom, to the main fabric. So I've just got my little side bits of the rocket there. So I've taken the paper off. And again, I'm gonna use the wet cloth or the damp piece of fabric you can use like a, a scrap piece of fabric or a clean tea towel it just needs to be damp um jackie no you can't use the you can't well, how did you choose these with your right hand or your left hand right hand because <coughs> you can buy left-handed ones so i'm presuming that because if you're left-handed i don't think you'd be able to i'm just going to get you to um as a left-handed person yeah would you be able to use those left hand on with your left hand or not I don't know. No, because no, the, the, no. the thing is facing in the wrong direction. What? Yeah, do you want to come on and do it then? His cat now wants <laughs> to show you with her left hand how she would use them. <laughs> well, you meant to use it to cut, aren't you? Yeah, but you need this bit here to be against the fabric oh, yeah, so you wouldn't be able no. to. No. So, thank you. Two people, two left handers <laughs> saying no. Right, so I'm just taking the paper off the little windows. Right. And just positioning those. Reminds me of Button Moon. What? Uh -huh. Do you remember Button Moon? I'm a lot older than oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> What's Button Moon? It was a, just a little kids program when I was little. No. no. <laughs> oh, Ben remembers Button Moon, so he must be in his, his age yeah. range. <laughs> Bruce, do you know Button Moon? Oh, but everyone, do you know Button Moon? No. So Lola's much younger than us and she no, doesn't know it. No, she won't. I don't know it because I'm too old, but they know it in there. Do you know it, Kat? No, you see, she's 20 and she doesn't oh, know it. No. <laughs> what was it then, Button Moon? It was what was it about? A, was it a cartoon? A yeah, I, no, I think it was like a some sort of, I don't know if it was a cartoon. I remember little puppets, I think. They went up to space in a rocket, but it, I think the moon was made of, it was a button. Mm. And the rocket looked no, like that. you've grown up the way you uh, no. watching <laughs> things like that. Okay, so that's all stuck down with oh, the yeah. underwear. And I've pre-cut the letters because right. they're a little bit more fiddly. So I've hand drawn these, but if you're not comfortable to hand draw your letters, you can just cut out the templates. Yeah, of course. 
Um, so I'm just take the little bits of paper off. That one's not ripping. I've got fake nails. They're rubbish. They don't do anything. <laughs> they just, uh, we're not allowed to show it on air. They just showed me the kind of big telly to you right there. Oh, that's it. So they went in a baked bean can yeah. to the moon yeah. and they're made of like wood, uh, like a wooden spoon, a toilet brush. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. What's, what's next to teddy bear there? It's like two, oh, we used to have mugs like that in my house. Anyway, I've uh, no, I've never seen it. Never brings seen it all it. back, that does. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is the last bit of sticking is the name. And when you're drawing, obviously, you can use the space when you're transferring the applique templates to the letters. You can just position it wherever because you're going to cut it out. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah, So yeah. there's not much room. Also, the good thing about um, felt is there's no, gr uh, no um, grain on felt, so you can cut them out on different angles. So yeah. you can use your felt to your mouth. And the same with the bonder web, so you can use it to as much of your advantage. Yeah, I've got loads of scraps of felt and just keep using it mm -hmm. for... Okay, so the last bit of pressing. That should be it. So all this does is just holds it in place, the bond web, so you can then go to town on the sewing. Yeah. I think that's straight. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. Thank you. Um, okay, so there are various stitches you can use oh. for the applique stitch. Yeah. Um, I've used two on this particular design I'm going to use the blanket stitch to stitch the rocket and then probably just a straight stitch when I was sewing the sewing room um, applique kit I did some free motion embroidery oh, okay and that was quite nice to yeah do. It's, it's really weird that um, uh, free motion really splits the camp doesn't it people either love it or they hate it or they love it or they're frightened of it sort of thing because it goes against everything that we've ever been moves, taught yeah but it's uh, I, I was using it just for doing the letters and for the um, bunting string and the pins um, that I use free motion to draw yeah. the pins on the on the little pin cushion and I found it actually, I'm not an expert at free motion and it's something I've just started doing. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Oh no, I think when you first do it, it's terrifying. Once you get into it again, it's a bit yeah. addictive. Yeah. <coughs> Ben's done it once and he loves it. And <laughs> twice now. <laughs> okay, so I've set the stitch. So I've used the blanket stitch um, and I've just increased the stitch length slightly and the spacing in between the stitches slightly just because it's decorative and I think it's nice to be able to see it. Oh, I've not plugged my pedal in. Oh. There we go. And it's the same with the um, free motion. It's just nice to have something a bit more decorative. Yeah. <coughs> you don't put anything on the back. It's just it's straight onto the fabric. What the? You don't put anything on. on you don't put any interfacing. Not on this because I'm sewing onto the felt right. with the sewing room. Um, because there's a lot more fabric that I was using as the applique pieces, I interfaced the back. But because the felt's quite sturdy. No point. No. no. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going round. Um, it's very fast. Are you doing a blanket stitch? Yeah. So I'm just going to be careful as I can't really see it. I no, spot on. Yeah, I'd probably use a white um, thread just to show up a little bit more. Oh, yeah. You see. So, um, yeah, so when going round the corners, the stitch itself comes forward across and then it, you get into the rhythm of the stitch. So you know that you finish the stitch before you turn around. Yeah. So it's still the straight part of the stitch is following the straight part of your applique piece. Yes. Yeah. I just think it's the blanket stitch is a really nice finishing touch. Well, it's, a, <coughs> it's from old fashioned blankets when they used to make yeah. blankets and hand stitch the blankets. It would be finishing, it's like an overlocking, finishing the edge off of a blanket by hand. Okay, so that's the rocket all stitched in. So I'm just going to go around the, um, what are these called? Wings. Oh. There we go, sorry, I started at the wrong spot. So I'm just 
just using the needle to pivot around any yeah. tricky corners. It's quite therapeutic, isn't it? I know. It's quite nice. I do a lot of um, dressmaking for, for work, and it's sometimes just so nice to sit down and do a little craft project. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. There's no fitting involved, or? No. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit someone. No. It's <laughs> tight under the armhole. <clears throat> okay, so just the bottom of the rocket to sew in place. I'm going to start at the top. So I've cut this um, bag out to be um, slightly larger, so right. it would suit a primary age child. Uh -huh. But the original one that I made was a lot smaller. And I just think it's really cute if you've got a little one starting school and their plimp soles are teeny tiny. But in the in the kit we get enough to make the bigger bag. Yeah, you? you can choose what size. It gives yeah. you, a, the instructions do give you a guidance on what size to cut yeah. um, your fabric. But it's really up to you to choose. If it was my daughter, she'd want a shoulder tote bag, so it... <laughs> oh, okay. It's quite uh, feisty, your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, so uh, the same with the windows, you can either um, sew these on with a straight stitch or a blanket stitch. I might just um, go with a straight stitch. I'll just reset it by switching it yeah. on. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't have to worry about the edges fraying on any of these. No, do you? you don't. But this would be quite fun to do with the free motion. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. Looking at that, I probably should have stuck with the blankets. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we're all so hypercritical of ourselves, aren't we? If you were to give that some, to somebody as a gift, they're not going to go, Oh, look at your wobbly sewing in that <laughs> circle. I actually found it easier when I was doing the other one to do the um, free motion embroidery because you can get away with it looking a little bit. Yeah, because yeah, I think that's the, the charm it, it, of yes, it. Yes, exactly. Okay, so that's the um, applique for the main rocket. I've got time to do. Yeah, the, you've got loads oh, of time. Oh, good. Loads of time. So I'm just going to sew. Again, this. The letters actually do look lovely appliqued on. It does take a little bit more um, time and effort. Yeah. But, um, sorry, the blanket stitch applique yeah. on the letters does look lovely. Yeah, maybe do the rocket first to get your muscle memory and get your yeah. eye in and then do the letters afterwards. Yeah. I mean, you can if you want to, just do a straightforward zigzag as well, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can do a zigzag. Because I've been doing a bit of free motion recently, I keep wanting to do that yeah, with it, yeah. remembering I can't. <laughs> and you do so now a bit, don't you, when you're just sewing something. Oh no, completely, I'm going to be out watching it. So. <coughs> but you are right, yeah, when you're doing it, you do kind of just go into your own little world. Yeah. But it's good, it's good for, the, you know, good for the soul, it's a bit of um, mindfulness. Mm. And if it was a child doing this, if they're not as comfortable <laughs> with the... Um, you wouldn't be, wouldn't be calm and going off saying if a child's <laughs> no, doing it. No, you'd be like, watch your fingers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this would be a nice one to do with uh, maybe some embroidery thread and yeah. to um, hand stitch it in place. Of course. They'd probably make a neater job of sewing these letters in. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nearly there. Do you start anywhere when you're doing the um and you're doing the letters. Yeah, I tend to start more towards the edge of a letter. So mm -hmm. like the K, I'll start <coughs> in the bottom corner. <coughs> I 
<laughs> this definitely um, tests your control with your yeah, sewing no, no, machine. Yeah, no, I was going to say that. It's actually quite a good lesson <laughs> yeah. about controlling your machine and things. So I'm guilty of just turning my stitch, my speed up high and just putting my foot down and going for it. And yeah. then that's always when mistakes are made. Oh, yeah, totally. And it's usually when you haven't got time for it to be unpicked and things like yes, that. Yes, all the time. <laughs> right, the most popular is the sewing room applique kit. <laughs> Flying out. The actual kit, you mean the cushion or just the kit? All the applique kit. Oh, that's nice. Fantastic for £10. <laughs> well, when you think about it, right, someone's had to sit and cut all the pizza felt, put it in tissue, put it in the box, put the sticker on the box. One that'd of your many helpers, no that'd doubt. That'd be uh, Helen. Oh, Helen. <laughs> well, maybe Katie, on a, if she comes in the afternoons. Okay. <laughs> But isn't Helen on holiday? She was on holiday last week. She's back this week. She's oh. promised never to go away ever again. <laughs> was it that bad? <laughs> it was tricky. <laughs> okay, so um, obviously you can spend some time if you like, just like trimming all the little loose threads off. Yeah. But I'll do that a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so we're going to start off to make the PE bag or the drawstring bag by placing the right sides together. Yeah. And we're going to measure down a couple of centimetres. So we're going to sew, um, leave a gap as we sew around the edge for the channel for the drawstring. Right. Did have a little, oh, there's my little ruler. The C3 one's not so useful, but um, I've sort of pre-marked it. So we're going to sew down, measure down four centimetres and do a little mark and then leave another two centimetres and that's the gap we're going to leave for the entrance for the channel. Okay. And then we're going to sew all the way around the edge of the bag using the one centimetre. Do you have to do that allowance. same on the other side? Is the, is the pull through only on one it's side? It's only through one side okay. on this bag. <coughs> if you wanted to, you could leave another gap yeah, and yeah, do yeah, the yeah. double. Right. So I'm just going to do a back stitch at the beginning so that when we turn it, it doesn't all come undone. Yeah. And I think this is why it's such a lovely um, little project for a child to do, is that it's lots of straight lines, yeah. pivoting around corners. And um, I do, I used to, when I had the shop, teach children to sew. And they're very adaptable. They learn very quickly. Yeah. But this whole pivoting around a corner and straight lines really gets their confidence. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Once they can make something simple and they see that they've made it, they then have the confidence to try oh, yeah, more definitely. techniques. So are your kids artistic then? Um, my son's artistic with the computer. He does a lot of design on the oh, computer. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's very clever with that. My daughter um, is a really lovely drawer. Right. She used to sew, but she's just lost interest. But she did sew. She loves to draw. Sometimes you do one craft, don't you, to learn that actually this isn't one for me. I'll, you know, it leads you on to the next craft, yeah. I think. <coughs> Right, nearly, oh. oh, I know what I didn't do. What didn't you do? I didn't put the ribbon in, so I might have to use an unpicker just to pop the ribbon in. I'll show you that in a second. Have we got an unpicker? Oh, the little tie at the bottom. Yeah. Have you got an unpicker? Oh, my trolley. Cat! <laughs> there we go. Don't she run. got one. There might be a little bit of ribbon on my trolley as well. Ribbon? Yeah. Oh, you need a bit so. of ribbon too. Is it there? Oh, I've got it here. Don't worry, I found it. What I forgot to mention, the same side that... So I've just left a gap as I went around the edge of the bag. Yeah, the one you marked yeah, earlier. On yeah. that same side, you just need to pop a little bit of ribbon, just a couple of inches from the bottom. So I just... This is where you wish you'd done a big stitch now. Yeah. <laughs> just take out a few of those stitches. There you go. Right. So you get your little bit of ribbon. I'm probably going to use about that much. Right. And just going to place that inside with the raw edges touching. Probably. So you would have um, 
clip this in place. Yeah. I pinned it in place before we started sewing the side seams. Is your hole not big enough? No. There we go. There we go. Pleased I remembered. Okay, so I'm just going to sew that in. And as that's going to hold the um, the drawstring, yeah. you might just want to go backwards and forwards over it a couple of times. Yeah. There we go. There you go, no one will notice. <laughs> right, I'm just going to quickly sew around the lining. So we've used calico. Right. Um, you might want to pre-wash the calico because it does shrink quite a bit. Um, but then once you've pre-washed it and you've ironed it, it's a really good lining for a drawstring bag, especially if it's a child's PE bag, because it's quite sturdy. Uh -huh. It will take the battering of kids chucking stuff Do in. Do I need to leave any mark if we start sewing? Have we got to yes. mark anything? Sorry, um, you're absolutely right, you do. You need to mark about 10 centimetres at the bottom. Um, what I would normally do to stop myself forgetting to leave that gap, which I'm quite prone to doing, is pop a double pin. Yeah, I do that as well. And if you obviously you might want to just pin all the way around, but well, calico is so stable it normally stays yeah. where it is, doesn't it? So but I'm just going to pop those two pins there just to remind me to leave that gap. Uh huh. Thank you, John. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just wondering if there are any up. There's no, there's no. Marks there's no up here, markings up the top. No. no. too far there we go so I'm just going to sew up those first two pins uh -huh. do a little back stitch and then leave that gap so the next two message on the bottom uh, I think that goes for all of us. If I am pleased with the... Shh, 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 quiet, please, the gallery. Uh, if I am pleased with the finished project, it definitely encourages me to try another technique or fabric. Lovely demo from Kate in Merseyside. Thank you, Kate. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to keep the lining the wrong side out. Right. I'm going to clip the corners of my outer bag. Mm-hmm. And then turn this the right side out. Okay. There's that little loop. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm just going to pop the outer bag inside the lining bag. Right, so right sides together. Yes, yeah, so the right sides are together. I'm just going to push those corners down because the bit that's important here is just lining up the raw edges. Yeah. So, so I've got my raw edges aligned and I'm just gonna match up my side seams. Yeah. Pop a pin there. And that one. Right, we're just going to measure down two centimetres and we're going to sew all the way around the circumference of the top of the bag at the two centimetre, um, with the two centimetre seam allowance basically. So okay, so why is this one a two centimetre seam allowance? When because when we pull it all through, you're going to have the, um, it will work with the marks that we've left, which oh, are okay, four centimetres down yeah, for yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. for the hole. Yeah. Let's move those out of the way. So if you've got a guide on your um, plate here, you can use that as your, you yeah. don't need to draw or mark it with pins. Ooh. Or put some wishy-washy tape on you. Yeah. Actually, I'm just going to take that drawer out. Yeah. It's a lot easier. Okay. So that all lines up nicely. And I'm going to use that two centimetre guide all the way around the edge making sure that's all nice and neat. You obviously, you would probably use a few more pins, yeah. but I'm just going to hold it in place. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's like an afternoon project if you do it with a, a child, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no, I, I don't want to say child, a young person. A young person. Yeah. I used to make these for um, friends' children for birthdays, and yeah. it's quite a nice gift. You know, you get so used to plastic tap being gifted at birthday parties yeah. to give them something that's personalised. <laughs> Unless it's your daughter. Yeah, Richie, who <laughs> likes plastic tap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now I've done that, we're going to um, bring the bag to life by pulling through the lining. Yeah. quite brutal to get it through. Mm -hmm. Potentially could use a, leave a bigger gap. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So all we need to do now is I'm going to sew the hole shut in the lining. Right. So we don't lose any little shoes. And then I'm going to give it all a good press. Lovely. So I'm just going to top stitch that closed. Push this through first of all. Right. So once you've sewn up the hole, I'm just stuff the lining back in. Now it's really taking shape. Mm. So you'd want to spend some time just making sure that's all pushed in properly. But the press that I really want to give is around the top. What are you giggling about? I was thinking how cute it is. <laughs> <laughs> and who's Jack? Uh, are you making this for somebody this yeah. afternoon? To go, oh, just make this for no, you. No, I, Jack is now 14. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I just thought it was a nice short name to... Yeah. <laughs> And then you can give it all a good press, press minding yeah. the sparkly. Oh, you don't want to press the sparkly one? No. Okay. So we just need to make the channel for the drawstring. Right. So as you can see, we've left that gap there. It's about two centimetres from the edge, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to top stitch all the way around the circumference at the top of the hole and at the bottom of the hole, right. and that just creates the channel. Yeah, lovely. What was that, I just a pair of scissors were going across the table. <laughs> thought ben, that, ben thought that noise was the machine, he thought the machine was going to be poorly. Oh no. <laughs> So you may want to um, match the thread to your yeah, yeah. fabric for any top stitching. These are a bit like, um, uh, I, I have um, my, I don't, I don't want to say fans, my ladies and gentlemen who follow me, <laughs> we often make things for different charities. Mm. And um, the last one we did was making a bag for a, a charity called Beads of Courage, where little children who've been severely ill get different beads for different oh, things. They want to collect them. And we made bags to collect all their beads in and everything like that. And it's exactly the same, much smaller, but exactly the same as this. Is it? Yeah. That's lovely. Made thousands of them. Hmm. That's the thing. It is just a really versatile little pattern. and. Let's 
So once that's sewn in place, we just need to thread the cord through. Uh huh. And that, I haven't seen a nappy <laughs> that, pin like that for years. It's the last one I've got left. It's just. I, I had a packet of them and I yeah. just keep what, losing so when them. The kids were little. No, no. <laughs> oh, no, because we've had nappies like that, yeah. No. But I, my my uh, younger brother and sister were twins, and I always remember that his nappies were put together with those with a blue end, and yeah. hers, hers oh, really? were done with a pink end, yeah. They're just ideal for so. Um, no, it's brilliant for this, yeah. Yeah, I keep this one close because if, if it goes. Oh, I, I taught a class recently where we needed to thread. Um, something through and we ended up using paper clips because oh no it, like, oh, it worked it yeah. worked right, sometimes when you get to a seam it gets a little bit stuck yeah which is obviously it's done today yeah. but you just need to give it a bit of a wiggle, wiggle it's because yeah. of how they're pressed there you go i've got through yeah There you go, nearly there. I'll get back over here because I need to recap. Okay. There we go. That's it. So then that just goes and ties down on the ribbon. Brilliant. We are off to Button Moon, we'll follow Mr. Spoon Button Moon, says Diana. Is that That's what they it. used to sing? Yeah. <laughs> I remember Button Moon and I'm the same age as you, John. Oh. <laughs> we follow Mr. Spoon to Button Moon. I've never heard of it. It was stop motion animation. That's it. Well, I never. You learn something new every day here, don't you? There you go. That's it. What, how did you how did you finish your rope off um i just off? i've just tied it and i'm just going to trim those edges but i just tied it to the ribbon so you tie it to the ribbon yeah yeah and then it just keeps it all brilliant fantastic <laughs> right yo let's do a quick recap then sewing room applique kit is in the lead so that's this box here so you get your buttons you get your applique instructions you get your gold glitter felt you get pink felt you get blue felt you get an awful lot in this box you get your liberty you get more darker blue felt more liberty there and your bonder web all of that for 10 pounds that'd be a nice little gift just to give somebody as well wouldn't it somebody just needs cheering up a little gift like that 10 pounds, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. That's for the um, sewing room. So that with that, you could make something like this. Make the, you could, uh, uh, you know, obviously put whichever name you want on there. Uh, beautiful, isn't it? So that's the kit. That's the applique box, that one, 10 pounds to make that. If you want to make the whole cushion, you could get this, which you get the applique um, box, plus you get the fabric for around the edge and the fabric for the back and the instructions on how to make the cushion for 20 pounds 20 pounds beautiful that's liberty fabric as well isn't yeah. it that one around the edge that's um betsy or cosmos isn't it anyway that's that one let me just close that on then the rocket that you've just seen demoed the bag the bag so to do the whole kit you get the red fabric you get the calico you get the cord you get a little bit of ribbon as well yes. yeah a little bit of ribbon and then all the, then you get your box of goodies to go inside bond web so you get the instructions on how to make the bag and the instructions on how to do the bond web plus all your felts and your bond web in there for 20 pounds then we've got the box of goodies on its own which is the glitter felt the bond web and the other felt plus the instructions of how to do applique that one's your 10 pounds beautiful then last but not least we've got the rainbow kit now uh the whole kit to make the bag is this the fabric they get yeah you get this blue spotty fabric lovely you get your cotton poplin for your uh, bag on the outside you get your calico and then it, uh, you get in here you get your gold your red your yellow your pink your green and your white to make that and your cord plus your little piece of ribbon 
20 pounds so you don't need anything else it's all there it's all done there or you can just get the box on its own now uh, my box hasn't got anything in it but yours will have red felt yellow felt pink felt green felt white felt i've got white felt and it will also have gold oh there's the gold plus it will have the instructions of how to do the bond web plus it will have bond web in it 10 pounds brilliant thank you ever so much do you know when you're in next i have a date in august i can't remember what it is sometime in august yeah. are you going to festival of quilts not this year oh are you going to not even going to visit i don't know if i'm going to have a chance to oh no I'd you're like so busy to. yeah, yeah. Really just... that's good it, it, it's brilliant that you can say oh i'm too busy to, you no, know. i'd like to come so I yeah. think victoria may be going oh yeah of course of course oh well anyway it's lovely to see you and lovely we'll see you again you. soon thank, thank you very you. much uh shall we do tomorrow's menu uh it's me tomorrow so i've got dan morris patina fabrics i've never seen those uh and then we've got the great british saying be the skills book with rebecca harrison i wonder if she i do what calico's back in stock i that when we did that last time she literally went through and showed you how to do different pockets and all sorts of things like that homewares you will love at uh 10 o'clock 11 o'clock we've got the cashmere rose claire dress with becca harrison now i've seen some of the fabrics just being unpacked they look lovely and then we've got sewing machines deals at uh, 12 o'clock uh, anna thanks for your company now you do need to check out everybody who's bought anything today you do need to check out there's so many things hanging in baskets now's the time to check out because if anything's been crashed remember it goes back up at midnight tonight so uh so thank you very much for your company i'll see you tomorrow morning at eight o'clock don't be late